Good afternoon, good morning, good evening to our audience all over the world. Uh, welcome to 2021 online exposition on Taiwan career and higher education for Indian talents. Today we are honored to have inv uh, invited 31 um, university and departments from all across Taiwan and also uh, prestigious companies in Taiwan to recruit our talent and two talks from professional educators. Uh, for in this two-day journey, we wish you a fruitful uh, result and carry back with you insightful information for you to take on to further studies. Um, first up, we would like to uh, provide you some words from uh, our Deputy Minister the, from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Tian Zhongguang. Uh, we have a prepared video for us. After that, we will have um, some rega uh, re rega uh, words from Director General Ge Baoshan from Taipei Economic and Cultural Center in India. And afterwards, we will have uh, Nicole Yen Yi Li, uh, Director General from Department of International and Cross-Trade Education under the Ministry of Education of Repub Republic of China, Taiwan. And uh, following that, we will have Deputy Director General from India Taipei Association, uh, Mr. Prasant Tripathi, to give her some words. And then our senior vice president, Dai Nianhua, from National Tsinghua University, to provide her uh, blessings. Thank you. Namaste. Good day, my dear Indian friends. On behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan, it is a pleasure to deliver a few remarks at this online exposition. First, I would like to thank the program office for the Taiwan Education Center in India at the National Tsinghua University for organizing this meaningful event. Student exchanges are very important bridge between nations. So this exposition is helping bring Taiwan-Indian relations even closer. More importantly, today's event offers a platform for matchmaking Indian students with Taiwanese universities. It also provides opportunities for students to kickstart career with Taiwanese enterprises. The number of Indian students in Taiwan has grown dramatically over the past few years. In fact, since 2017, the figure has doubled to around 3,000. It is my belief that thanks to the Taiwan's successful effort to contain COVID-19, together with our affordable tuition fee, high quality education, convenient and efficient healthcare system, and open and inclusive society, we can convince even more Indian students to pursue their higher education here. And after graduating, these students can serve as a market navigators between Taiwan and India. Uh, acknowledging the necessity of reconstructing global supply chains, the Indian government is currently seeking collaboration through a range of new schemes and policies. Its vision is to position India as a global hub for manufacturing. In this respect, as in many others, India is truly a land of opportunities for Taiwan. The figures attest to this. 
Since 2000, bilateral trade has grown more than five-fold, from one billion U.S. dollars to almost five billion U.S. dollars in 2020. To date, nearly 130 Taiwanese companies, including Foscon and Wistron, have set up operations in India. These firms have invested 2.3 billion U.S. dollars in such fields as ICT, medical devices, automobile components, machinery, steel, electronics, constructions, engineering, and financial services. Taiwanese companies feel very confident about entering the Indian market because India provides tremendous opportunities for business. These initiatives have also raised demand for human resources. Indian students who have studied in Taiwan and are familiar with our language and culture could well be the talent that Taiwanese businesses are looking for. I firmly believe that our two nations' expertise, technology, and abundant human resources will create a winning combination. In closing, I wish today's event every success and all of you the best of health and happiness. Thank you. Dear students and educators, I'm delighted and honored to virtually join the 2021 online exposition on Taiwan Career and Higher Education for Indian Talents. On behalf of the Taipei Economic Culture Center in India, I express my sincere appreciation to the Ministry of Education, the National Tsinghua University, and all universities for organizing this online educational fair, which will significantly promote educational exchanges between Taiwan and India. In this virtual fair, we have speakers from renowned professors in Taiwan mapping the learning pathways and career features for prospective students. I'm glad that there are 32 prestigious universities from Taiwan participating in this virtual fair arranged under four discipline classes. The representatives will provide a thorough yet precise presentations on the university's scholarship programs, information on popular majors, etc. We also invite Indian PhD students in Taiwan to share their experiences on how to apply to universities in Taiwan, preparing application documents, preparing application documents and proposals. I just had the pleasure of visiting IIT Lopa and Chandigarh University in Punjab, Mahatma Jyotipa Phule Rohilkhand University in Uttar Pradesh and Flem University in Maharashtra. We signed MOUs with these institutions to establish Taiwan Education Centers and Institute a Taiwan Studies pro Project. Thanks to the Education Division, as well as the National Tsinghua University, we have so far inaugurated 23 Taiwan Education Centers in India. Through the cooperation, the TCC is, is making frequent and robust communications with the Indian university students and scholars. We expect to see more Indian students to pave their career and education ways to Taiwan through the online fair. Safety is always our priority. Taiwan has remarkably contained the pandemic since 2020. Even though the, we encountered an outbreak of COVID-19 transmission in May, we suppressed the surge. Now the border restriction has been lifted for degree-seeking students and government scholarship awardees. Taiwan is surely a top destination for Indian students to pursue their education and hone their Mandarin skills. It's our pleasure to welcome you in Taiwan with open arms. I'm confident that stronger bonds will be established among us who share the common goal of nurturing young talents in the future. I'm sure that students from each Taiwan Education Center that is participating in this virtual fair today will get useful and practical information. In closing, I wish this online fair a great success and all guests and participants a most rewarding and enjoyable time. Thank you.
distinguished speaker, Representatives uh, Bao Xiang Deputy Minister Zhong Guang Tian, Deputy Director General President Chapati, Professor Dai Nian Huang, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. It's a great pleasure to welcome the students in India and from India in other parts of the world to the Autumn 2021 Online Exposition on Taiwan Career and Higher Education for Indian Talents. I would like to welcome the parents and teachers who are passionate about the education of the next generation who are also joining us. I would like to begin to thank the National Tsinghua University Program Office for the Taiwan Education Center in India and the Education Division at the Taipei Economy and Culture Center in India for organizing the two-day online exposition. I would also like to thank the representative of the 32 university and the tertiary college in Taiwan who will be speaking to you today and tomorrow about their respective institution and the course and the program they offer. High quality cross border education help to equip the students with the competency that they will need to practice it in our increasing complex global society. It also enhances mutual understanding of each other's challenges and appreciate of each other's accomplishments and tradition. And this will help the mutual global understanding and the prosperity. Taiwan is a friendly, welcoming nation with a vibrant mixture of traditional culture, contemporary facility, and a modern lifestyle. Taiwan also offers high quality education. We strive to ensure that our high education system provides exceptional service and facility. We want each student to receive a world-class education. I would like to mention that an increasing number of our universities are now offering many courses and some degrees programs that are partly or fully topped in English, particularly at the postgraduate level. Taiwan's Ministry of Education is implementing a number of measures to encourage outstanding international students to come and study in Taiwan. For example, the ministry provides more than 40 Taiwan scholarships each year to students from India to undertake a degree program in Taiwan. The Ministry's Elite Scholarships Program provides subsidies for five lectures at the Indian University to study at a university in Taiwan for a master degree or for a PhD degree. We provide a Hawaii Enrichment Scholarship for students to come to Taiwan for up to a year to learn Mandarin Chinese. And we also subsidize university and the college in Taiwan to offer industry academia cooperated technical education programs. Individual universities also offer a range of scholarships. And after completing a degree, students can apply to do an internship for up to a year. I hope that everyone will find this two-day online exposition interesting and useful. And I wish each of the students participating in this event succeed in your future academic studies and career. 
Thank you, and welcome to Taiwan. Distinguished faculties and dear students, it's a matter of great delight that continuing the tradition, National Shenghua University is holding the 2021 online exposition on Taiwan career and higher education for Indian talents for the autumn session. This session is an opportunity embodying the perfect matchmaking between the Indian students and academia and the business enterprises in Taiwan. We congratulate the university authorities for this thoughtful initiative. Taiwan provides one of the most nourishing atmospheres to groom the talent of Indian students, ranging from well-equipped research labs to qualified faculties and wide-ranging connections with prom pro prominent academic institutions worldwide. Several measures, including a number of scholarships and other incentives, make Taiwanese universities one of the most appealing choices for Indian students. The fact that Taiwanese academic institutions such as National Shenghua University have provided the best academic environment for the Indian students is also evident from the fact that Indian students have performed extremely well across the disciplines. Indian students are not only one of the highest numbers in terms of foreign students but also one of the brightest. One of the key features of the academic climate is also a close cooperation with relevant industries and enterprises which not only helps in gaining the first-hand experience, but also opens the field for future work opportunities. The Taiwanese businesses are global leaders in some of the most cutting-edge technologies, and hence an opportunity of collaboration with such enterprises should be a major attraction. It is also heartening to note that the Taiwanese businesses have not only shown greater interest in engaging with Indian talents, but also in investing in India in several fields which provides a unique opportunity in terms of diversified work experience, including for the Indian market potential. Before I conclude, I would also like to add a few words of advice for the Indian students who eventually get an opportunity to study in Taiwan. Please do invest at least some time and resources in learning the language and culture. Apart from being an immense help in your career, these skills would also help widen your horizon and help you grow as a person. I once again thank the university authorities for this wonderful initiative and to the Indian students all the very best for a wonderful new chapter of your life. Thank you very much. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the 2021 online exposition on Taiwan career and uh, higher education for Indian parents, which is organized by the Program Office for Taiwan Education Center in India at National Tsinghua University. On behalf of the National Tsinghua University, I would like to express my sincere welcome and the best wishes to each of you for attending this event and believe that you will get plentiful and useful information from the exposition. Over 30 organizations, including universities and the companies, are invited for introducing their universities, films, or delivering information regarding study abroad in Taiwan. The exposition will last for two days. The first academic field will be presented is Discipline Cluster on Information and engineering. Later, the second academic field, discipline clusters on management, humanities, and the social sciences will be presented by six universities. Tomorrow, two discipline clusters, including chemistry and mathematics, for the first cluster and medicine and health for the second cluster will be introduced. In addition, Two different sections are arranged for providing more information. That is, the first, informatic section on study in Taiwan, and the second, Taiwan career and recruitment. We hope that all of you will be benefited from the exposition. Besides, 
I would like to take this opportunity to share our university's strategy toward India and uh, what we have done during the past uh, several years. Our university, the National Tsinghua University, values the relationship and the communication with Indian deeply. Being one of the most popular universities in Taiwan for Indian students, there are 191 students come to National Tsinghua University for study abroad in 2020, which is at the first place. Just the last month, we hold the Diwali celebrations at campus, and we even have a recent that specially offers Indian quizzes. Other, other than that, we have signed MOU and built a partnership with 19 schools in India, including IIT, IS, JMI, JNU, and more. I personally visited Jamia Minia Islamia twice a long time ago which show how strong our relationship with India is. The prominence of communication among Taiwan and India has been known in 2017, promoted the project of founding the Center for India Studies at our university and invited Professor Wang as the director. I'm proud to report to you that the center is the only center for Indian studies among all universities in Taiwan. The goals of this center include working on the government's new southbound policy, holding classes that aim to train qualified workers for working in India, and hosting workshops and lectures on related issues. Moreover, since Indian studies is of great importance, we just set up the International and the College Master Program for Indian Studies in our university. You are also very welcome to apply for this program as international students. In addition, we have established several Taiwan education centers in India with our Indian partners, including OP Jinta Global University, Amiti University, Jamia Media Islamia, IIT Madras, Jawara Har Nehru University, SIM Institute of Science and Technology, IIT Bombay, Chitrawa University, SRM University and uh, Pratish. The centers are aimed to provide information on Taiwanese universities for students who are interested in higher education in Taiwan, career information for graduates who want to have more development in Taiwan, Mandarin Chinese courses and uh, Chinese proficiency test, etc. That is, our university, National Tsinghua University, has put a lot of efforts to build partnership with India. More importantly, you will also become part of the partnership when you choose Taiwan to study or to work. Wish all of you have a great harvest through this event, and I hope that everyone lives here today with precious health and uh, happiness. Thank you. Thank you for our delegates in bringing us some introduction to studying in Taiwan. Taiwan has one of the highest quality of education in higher studies and also an abundance of scholarship. Also, it's uh, voted one of the most safe, safest and most liberal environment to live in.
Apart from that, Taiwan is getting a larger community uh, for Indians. And, and as a technology hub of Asia, uh, in information and engineering is one of the most popular area of study our Indian students would like to apply to. So the first session of today's program will be focusing on information and engineering departments from various universities. And later on, we will introduce management, humanities, and social sciences. In tomorrow's session, we will have uh, area of study from other uh, universities and other clusters and also some informative sessions about studying in Taiwan and also some job opportunities that a lot of students are looking forward to. And after each university, we will open a, a Q&A session for everybody, whether you are on our Google Meet uh, chat room or our YouTube uh, live chat, or uh, there is a form, Google form, that you can fill in for our uh, staffs here to ask the questions for you. Without further ado, we, I would like to invite one of the top universities in uh, Taiwan, National Taiwan Universities, to uh, give her some introduction. Okay, so uh, hello everyone. My, uh, thank you for joining us here today at National Taiwan Univers University. And I'm Wilson, representing the Ta uh, Office of International Affairs. So I'll be telling you a bit about uh, National Taiwan University. So today's uh, introduction consists of three parts. The first part will be YNTU, and the second one will be left INTU. And uh, then finally, like, the how to apply regarding some admission information. Without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, I will introduce, I'll show you where Taiwan is. So Taiwan is located off the southeast coast of the Asian continent at the western edge of Pacific Ocean. Surrounded by the sea and with the backbone of central mountains, Taiwan is an ideal place for you to discover and embrace the modern nature. And our main campuses are uh, situated at uh, Taipei, which is the Taiwan's capital as well. So according to Internation Internation's annual expat city ranking, uh, Taipei claimed the number one position as the best city to live in. And also with the convenient public transportation, affordable health care, and a budget-friendly cost of living. And more, Taipei is a great option for studying abroad. So as you can see, uh, there are several campuses of NTU, but our main campus will be, the, will be the Taipei campus. And there are also Zhubei campus, Yingling campus, and also there are also the experimental forest and highland farm. And Although the students will be mainly based in our Taipei campus, but it's interesting to note that uh, the whole campus uh, is add up to total 1% uh, of Taiwan's uh, area. And according to the QS and the THC rankings, uh, National Taiwan University is not only one of the top universities in Asia, but also ranks highly among other reputable universities around the world. And there are uh, around 14 colleges with 56 departments and 134 graduate institutes, as well as more than 100 uh, research centers. 
Um, our college is covering uh, all kinds of different fields in different professions. And as, as you are interested in more in science engineering and electric engineering and computer science, there are also a really new established uh, college called Graduate School of Advanced Technology, which is really uh, established recently. And they, are con they consist of three English top programs in the fields relating uh, semiconductor, integrated circuit design, and nano engineering, etc. And they are all under the industry and uh, academia co collaboration with our well known companies in Taiwan, such as TSMC and uh, MediaTek, and so on. So uh, the, also in these programs for the doctoral students, you will receive uh, abundant scholarships as well. And the students are also required to have internship in our uh, well-known semiconductor companies in Taiwan. And now I would like to show you a short video introducing our College of EECS. Okay, so uh, 
NTU has a total of about 33,000 students with a one-to-one -one undergraduate to graduate student ratio. Among these students, around 3,000 uh, students are from international and around the world, uh, coming from around 63 different countries. Not only do we have students from around the world, um, National Taiwan University, University also has partnered institutes from each continent with around six, more than 600 partner institutions and established around 670 exchange programs as well as more than 100 dual degree programs. Um, we are currently, we currently have international faculty over uh, 33, coming from over 30 countries and they are, uh, we offer more than 1,300 courses in English each year and more than 100 programs with English as a median of instruction, including programs are taught in English. And our fully English taught program are listed on the right for your reference. And here, and here are some distinguished alumni uh, who are currently well-renowned leaders both in Taiwan and in the world, so such as Dr. Yuan Zhe Li, uh, who won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1986, and Dr. Mark Liu, the chairman of TSMC, and other dis distinguished alumni uh, is listed. And next, I will share about some uh, life at NTU. NTU has a uh, abundant academic resources and this, for example our library is considered as the uh, biggest university library in Taiwan and it's besides from the main library with abundant uh, academic uh, books and journals there are also several different uh, libraries of our colleges and departments which provide our students a comfortable uh, area for studying and also, they can have group discussion in there. And there are also affiliated hospitals uh, of our NTU hospital and teaching and practice uh, farm and forest and also several research centers on campus for students to have a chance to uh, imply their practical learning. And here are also uh, our uh, everyday convenience on campus since we are located in the center of Taiwan. So uh, our campus is easily to access with a uh, different way of transportation. And also there are uh, several sports facilities on our campus, including the gymnasium, uh, fitness center, and also indoor and outdoor pool, as well as some track and field and different kinds of sports court on campus. And Regarding the, the food and the life on campus, there are also different uh, student uh, cafeteria located in different corners on our campus, as well as some chain restaurants such as McDonald's and KFC, and also convenience stores and even bank and post office. Uh, there are also uh, laundry and uh, hair salon services on campus. So students are able to fulfill their uh, daily needs on just on our campus. NTU also provides uh, mental and physical counseling services, which they are health center and student counseling center, career center, and also center for teaching and e-learning development. NTU also provides uh, student services, especially, especially for our international students, including uh, we will have student volunteers to help international students upon their arrival regarding some course selection and their daily life uh, consultation. And also we provide free Chinese courses and there will be several international activities in each semester as well. And also some cultural activities for uh, overseas students to experience uh, their uh, and to create different life in Taiwan. As for stu student clubs, international and overseas students are welcome to join our 400 student clubs on campus. Uh, you can feel free to join each club re, uh, related to your preference. And also there are also overseas student associations uh, cr uh, just created by our uh, students from different kind of work. And in 
Of course, there are also India Student Association, Association on our campus. And for the on-campus accommodation, this is prioritized for all the international students. They can stay here for as long as the standard duration of their program. There are like around 20 dormitories on campus, so uh, students can choose to stay in a double room or a quad room. Uh, for more information about the dormitory, please feel free to uh, visit our NTU Student Housing Division's website. As for cost of living, here we have a table of estimated expense of a typical NTU student for a semester of about six months. Even though Taipei is a modern and bustling city, you'll find that uh, living cost here is quite budget friendly. Of course, these figures are only estimates and will vary according to your lifestyle. And here are the tuition fees for your reference. Moving on, we'll be going through some admission information. information. Uh, these are the application methods we have, and as, as I assume, most Indian students will be the international students. So uh, you just apply directly through us, the Office of International Affairs, through our application system. So you can f refer to our website for uh, more information. And here is the application period uh, for your information. So now is also the admission for September 2022. Uh, it's opening right now and will end until 24th of February. And uh, there are a lot of scholarship resources available in uh, National Taiwan University and also our Taiwanese government. Uh, each year, uh, international students at NTU receive grants totaling up to 80 million NTD each year, and it's around like 2 million and 800,000 USD. So you can also, uh, for more information, is about the government scholarship. Like for international students, you can apply either the MOFA Taiwan Scholarship or uh, MOE Taiwan Scholarship. And this will be the end of our presentation. So if you have more questions, please feel free to visit our website or uh, email to us. And feel free to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or subscribe to our YouTube for more video introduction. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your introduction. Let's welcome some uh, questions from online. Uh, we have one question um, on YouTube. It's asking that sometimes scholarships are not enough for higher education studies in Taiwan. What are some of your suggestions? Uh, scholarship is actually um things uh, like regarding for master's and doctoral students, besides the scholarship we provide uh, basically and also the government one, the, our colleges and uh, departments will provide further scholarships depending on your uh, performance. And so you can mm, try to reach the professors like after your uh, as after you're admitted to the departments, you can contact the professors or the department first to reach out these questions, and I think they will try their best to help you if you have uh, any problem or any uh, things need to be assisted. Right. As I understand, uh, National Taiwan University is in collaboration with the uh, uh, Ministry of Technology and a lot of uh, industry, where they lead a lot of programs that provide um, uh, some funds for the students uh, to do their research with. Right. Yes. So since there will be a lot of projects uh, collaborating with the government, so. Uh, I think there will be uh, various kinds of ways to uh, to help our international students. Right. Well, do we have any other questions from online? 
We understand that National Taiwan University is one of the most popular destination for students all across the world. What are some tips for applying to NTU? Um, the tips. Uh, Criteria, maybe. Yeah, of course, the students need to uh, fulfill the the requirements, the basic requirements, of course. But uh, the when reviewing the applications, I think the departments will also uh, put emphasis on their uh, extracurricular experiences or like what awards the students had before or uh, something that uh, can be more uh, which the student can be more outstanding and like differentiate with other applicants I think the students can try to add more uh, Proactive. highlights right. and uh, to their portfolio I see, I see. Thank you very much. Uh, for our audience, you can continue to leave your questions. And we thank you for introducing okay. National Taiwan University. The next university we have is National Yunlin University of Science and Technology, coming all the way from Yunlin. And we have a Indian student sharing with us his um, experience in Taiwan, as well as introducing National Yun. Yunlin University of Science and Technology. Thank you. Yeah, hi, good afternoon to one and all. Uh, first, we'll play a video about the Yunlin University. You can have a look over. Founded in 1991, National Yunlin University of Science and Technology, Yuntech, is located in the central part of Taiwan. Yuntech consists of five colleges that account for 23 undergraduates, 27 postgraduates, and 13 doctoral programs. The number of students is approximately 10,000. Yuntech is a practical technological university. In recent years, Yuntech has successfully launched industry academy cooperation and created a campus for training industrial talents. The College of Engineering puts an emphasis on applied engineering and system integration techniques as the educational objectives to foster high-tech professionals that are indispensable for national economic development. The College of Management lays importance on teamwork and nurtures international professional management talents who greatly value the importance of ethics with the capability of integration. The College of Design takes responsibility for fostering excellent design specialists, thus being able to keep pace with trends of international design and carry out their social responsibilities. The, the College of Humanities and Applied Sciences aims to nurture the talents in the fields of humanity and applied science by promoting the humanities and general education. In the future, Yuntech plans to make students become interdisciplinary professionals through multiple guidance mechanisms, tailor-made study plans, and learning communities. Under the support of the Program for Promoting Teaching Excellence and Plan for Developing Technological University Paradigms by the Ministry of Education, Yuntech has continually improved teachers' teaching and students' innovation over the past few years and established the mutual benefit of an ecological network of industry academy cooperation. To arrange plans for the next five years, Yuntech established the Yuntech Industrial Technology Research Institute, which manifests the values of a technical education that can go hand in hand with industry. In addition, the future college will help students to become confident social citizens and lifelong learners.
Yuntech has been taking on social responsibility by cooperating with well-known enterprises in Taiwan, integrating regional resources, and establishing the research center and the cooperative center. Yuntech has also been assisting enterprises in staff training, student internships, and integrating learning objectives with industries. Yuntech has also set up a mechanism to promote innovation and entrepreneurship and strengthen teachers' and students' innovative abilities. By applying for patents, Yuntech can commercialize the results of research and development through authorized technological transfer. Yuntech has reached partner agreements with 243 world-famous universities from 28 countries. Furthermore, to enhance these relationships, Yuntech has implemented this long-term project in cooperation with departments and professors of the fields we focus on. Yuntech encourages students to participate in the exchange program and overseas internships. Yuntech has also established the Taiwan Strait Program and the Indonesia Financial Program to attract overseas students. We believe that we can prepare students to have a global vision and create a multicultural learning campus environment. From foundation to taking root, taking off, leading and modeling, National Yunlin University of Science and Technology will continue to use Yuntech as a trademark. Furthermore, Yuntech will continue to foster students to become great innovators and build a fine technological university with combined industry university innovation. Yeah, I think you have a good look on the video and if you want to see more you can go on the YouTube and you can type just Intech University, you will have uh, so many videos. I think there is no need of explaining about uh, anything else. I think you have uh, watched a video. But uh, we have a small presentation to know more about the university. Yeah. So uh, this is the National Indian University of Science and Technology, which is located in the central part of Taiwan. And it came into act since 1991. And the National Indian University is, consists of five colleges. It consists of five colleges. It means College of Engineering, College of Management, College of Design, College of Humanities, College of Humanities and Applied Sciences, and College of Future. And in the Indian University, there are a, a total 10,000 students have been studying uh, every year. And these are the five college uh, main pictures about it. And then means in Indian University they offer the Mandarin courses for the international students to learn for means it's a free uh, language courses means the all inter international students they can learn if they want to communicate with the Taiwan people and they want to do job or PhD in near future if the all students they want means and these are the uh, partner universities from India which is which are collaborating with the Indian, Indian University and these are the scholarships. I mean, there are three types of scholarships that Indian University is providing to the international students. There is a full tuition waiver, half tuition waiver, and quarter tuition waiver. And for the full tuition waiver, uh, full uh, they will get the 15,000 uh, maximum amount for the PhD students. And for the master students, they will get 10,000 NT dollars. For the partial funded students, they will get 8,000 for the PhD and 6,000 for the masters. And this is about the tuition, uh, sorry, medical insurance. Like uh, uh, they need to, after coming to Taiwan, they need to apply for the NHI and for the ARC, and they need to pay some expenses. So before coming to Taiwan, uh, please be sure that to uh, put some money in your bank and come to Taiwan. And these are the dormitory fee details about for the undergraduates and for the masters and PhD students. It's about like. Uh, INR, like in 20,000 INR approximately per semester. It's not for the year, it's uh, per semester only. And the courses, it means in uh, Intech University is offering uh, English courses also in uh, like, like all, not all the departments, only the few departments, like two to four courses in every semester, they offer the English teaching courses. Uh, or these are the, some departments uh, who offer the English teaching courses. And this is the College of Engineering. In the College of Engineering, there are a few branches like mechanical, electronics, chemical, computer science, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I am from the mechanical. So College of Management. In this, the sub branches are business administration, industrial engineering, and management, and information management, accounting, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the College of Design, the Graduate School of Design, Industrial Design, Digital Media Design, and Creative Design and College of Humanities and Applied Sciences. These are the few uh, branches which comes under the College of Humanities, like Applied Foreign Languages, Science and Technology Law, Material Science, 
applied Chinese studies. So this is the new, col new college which is established from the last two years, the College of Future, where the Bachelor Program of Interdisciplinary Studies and Bachelor Program in Industrial Projects has been implemented in, the, in this college. And the living cost. That means in, uh, central part of Taiwan is not so popular or not so very low. It's uh, like uh, uh, average. So there is no much, uh, no high cost like Taipei or like in Kaohsiung. It's a uh, medium cost in Yunlin. So you can be able to offer it. So these are some campus pictures like auditorium and the lighthouse and the running tracks and the international office. And the, taking courses in Intech, that means the Intech University will offer like computer classes, English teaching classes, and then uh, the PE classes and accounting classes. And then it means in Intech, there is a library, like in library there is a movie hall also there. If you want to watch any movies, like Indian movies, or uh, Indian movie series are available in uh, Intech libraries. So if you want, you can go and watch all the movies if you want it. And then swimming pool, gym, and basketball court, and volleyball courts, etc., etc. And doing exercise in Intech means when you have a free mind, uh, means if you want to get a free mind and free meditation, you can go to the gymnasium, and, or you can play f uh, football, baseball, and etc. And there is a night market, means in front of Intech University, in every Tuesday and Saturday, in a week, they, there is a night market, and you can go and ch chit chat with your friends and communicate with the Taiwan people. can go back no. oh. so these are slides okay so actually a lot of students have student thoughts so means before coming to Taiwan or after coming to Taiwan so before coming to Taiwan means how do how do they I mean how do they decide the uh, current school and what are the it means is there any consulting agency or how to communicate with the Taiwan people if you visit the country and how, what do you worry about the more? I mean, there is nothing to worry about the more because uh, here people are very good to each other and if you want any help they are trying, I mean they are willing to help you uh, in any ways. Uh, next. Oh. Okay. Means after coming to Taiwan, what are the advantages and disadvantages? I think there is no disadvantage in after coming to Taiwan. The advantage is you can learn a lot more. Means if you learn more, you grow more. And then there are so many internship opportunities with the Intech. I mean, there is a Intech and Academia opportunities available, uh, means right now. And then do you consider working in Taiwan? Means as per my knowledge, it means Taiwan is the best country when you want to study like a master's or PhD. Uh, means if you don't offer too much money. Yeah. And uh, please scan if you want to know more about the Intech University. And these are the contact details. And don't hesitate to contact. In Tech University, and thanks for the Taiwan Education Center. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you wait for a while? We didn't get your name. Oh, sorry. My name is uh, Vamsi, and I am from southern part of India. I am from Andhra Pradesh. I studied uh, my bachelor's degree in India, and I came as an exchange student uh, to Taiwan to In Tech University, and I applied for the masters in the same university, and now I'm doing my second year of master's degree. Oh, welcome to Taiwan. So uh, we can say that this is your third year in Taiwan. Yeah, 30, yeah, including exchange. Yes. So, can you share with me? You, you probably get this question a lot. What do you love the most about Taiwan? In Taiwan, uh, I think the culture and the respect to each other means uh, uh, they didn't see about the racism or not. Means uh, right. about I can say the respect to each other. That's it. Right. So, so you've been traveling around and yes. experienced the culture. That's yes. great. That's great. We hope more will come to Yuning University sure, sure. and meet you. Yeah. Thank you very much. We have a few questions about job opportunities. For one, uh, we have shared about there are part-time jobs available. And also tomorrow's uh, last session, we will be introducing more job opportunities coming from prestigious companies. Uh, next up, we have uh, National Jinan University uh, coming all the way from central Taiwan to share with us and introduce to us about the university. Please.
Hello, everyone. Uh, here is the Jinan University. I'm the officer from OIA. And uh, as you can see, this the PowerPoint is our campus. It's we are in the middle of Taiwan, so we also called we are in the heart of Taiwan. So uh, in this our campus it is really for uh, very natural environment and a lot of trees and grass. I think it's very uh, good environment for your research or study here. Although uh, the commun the transportation is not quite convenient, but so far, by far now we have internet and we have a lot of like high speed train and uh, shuttle bus in our campus. So we still very welcome our international students to come here to for no matter your uh, bachelor degree or master degree or your PhD. So here is some of our figures of NCNU. And we are quite a uh, young university. We are founded in 1995. So until now, we only have 26 years old. And we uh, we are like a middle uh, school. So we only have uh, 6,000 students in our campus uh, compared to other big new university in Taiwan. And but until now, we already have like 25 thousand alumni around the world, uh, no matter Taiwanese student or international student. And our campus is really quite big. It's uh, 150 hectares. Our student to staff ratio is quite low. It's about uh, 17 to 1. And it, here is our international student, student percentage. Uh, uh, include our overseas Chinese student. We have uh, 12 percent. And uh, you can see we are in the middle of Taiwan, we are in, in the Nanto County. And here nearby we have a very famous sightseeing place called Sun Lake. Uh, it's really famous to uh, no matter for the Taiwanese or for the international students. They really love to go there to have some uh, relax or sightseeing here. And we also, the Samu Lake also is a world top 10 cycling path. If you really love to the relax or really would like to close the natural, it's a very good place for you to have some relax here. Leisure time here. And here is some of our NCNU world ranking. And because we are quite a young university, these years we are very do a lot of effort and uh, join the different kind of uh, ranking here. And you, as you can see, we are have a, like green metric un university in, in Taiwan comprehensive university. We are the, the first one here. Okay. So we have four college. The first one is College of Humanity. And uh, here we have a very uh, specialized department we call the Southeast Asia Department. We have also Southeast East Asia uh, Center to uh, do some research in Southeast Asia. And the second one is College of Management. And the third one is College of Education. We have two specific department called uh, International Education and Comparative uh, Department. And the second one is Education uh, Administration and Policy Department. And here is our, our I'm going, we are going to focus the, the part is College of Science and Technology. And our professor, from this college, we'll do some brief introduction for you about this college. And we, in our college, we have uh, five departments. And if you are interested, we will have uh, much more detail for you further. OK, here is some our support system. I will give our floor to my colleague. Hello, um, I'm Wen, and so because we are care about our international students, so we have a support system for our international students and includes international scholarship and the body program and the international students association and host family program and also the uh, exchange program. 
and we also have the cultural excursion for our international students and we hold then uh, this international uh, we hold this uh, cultural excursions for our international students is hope that students can learn and experience more deeply in uh, Taiwan culture and also the uh, every semester we organize an international food festival food festival for our international students and it can make our students and our uh, international students from the different country can make and test the food together during this event and at the beginning of the semester uh, we handle and uh, we handle the orientation to let the international students to know more about NCNU and uh, the international students will gather with their bodies. So uh, we offered two types of the scholarship awards is stipend and the tuition reduction and the uh, scholarship for the master program is granted for two years and uh, uh, range from 2000 for 4000. And for the PhD program is granted for four years and uh, range from the uh, 6,000 to 8,000. And we also have the two types of the waiver for the uh, tuition reduction. And for the uh, bachelor program, uh, it is uh, about four years for the partial reduction or the four waivers. And for the master program is for about two years and for the PhD program is also for four years. And we also, uh, our government also provides some uh, scholarship for our international students. And this is for your reference is a Ministry of the Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Education and also the Ministry of the Science and Technology Taiwan Scholarship. And for our students, uh, we also have a freshman scholarship and the students, of course, if you are, uh, if you are eager to learn in the uh, NCNU, you can apply for this scholarship from the February, February 1st to April 30 every year. So um, if you are interested in studying in NCNU, uh, our fourth semester application is from the February 8th to the April 8th. And so uh, following, we'll introduce our department of, of the applied materials and the optoelectronic engineering. So please welcome to our uh, chairman, uh, Professor Chen. Oh, now I would like to introduce you to the College of Science of Technology and uh, Science and Technology. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, this is uh, our uh, our college. Uh, we have four, four buildings. The scenery of our uh, university is very uh, beautiful. The scenery of university has been compared to that of uh, Cambridge University in England. So in our Chinese name, we include the word international because we are friendly to international students. So now I want to introduce our college, College of Science and Technology. So actually we have uh, five departments, uh, and computer, sci computer science and information engineering, electrical engineering, civ uh, civil engineering, and applied chemistry, and the d department uh, I currently chair, the Department of Applied Materials and Optoelectronic Engineering. So currently we have uh, 74 faculty members as well as uh, 1,300 students. Although uh, our university uh, is more compared with uh, some universities in metropolitan areas of Taiwan, our academic achievements uh, are excellent and the job opportunities uh, for our Undergraduate students, master students, and PhD students are quite good. So on the right, you can see uh, the published journal paper. This research is about LED lighting for water bamboo. Uh, this published paper 
uh, in 2020 has been chosen, has been picked by the editor to be the cover story. And this research has been reported by a number of media reports in Taiwan as well overseas. Um, our research areas, our research fields also include uh, nanotechnology, nanomaterials, and you can see a proposal of uh, space technology uh, sponsored by our government, as well as some optical systems, as you can see on the bottom, uh, a laser system. Actually, you cannot see very clearly. Actually, there are three students are working on the system. One is a Bangladesh student, another two are Vietnamese students. And also we have cooperation with uh, some overseas universities, some prestigious overseas universities. For example, Yale University, Georgia Tech, Purdue University, and some uh, famous universities in European and Asian countries. Studying at our university uh, can be your stepping stone for your advanced study in these overseas prestigious universities. Uh, also, you can see we have Indian students in our uh, universities. And you can see uh, this uh, one of them is a postdoc. Currently, he's working for a company. He's not working for our university. And he has two children. Uh, the two children are studying in one elementary school in our township. Uh, the family adapts to the life in our town very well. And also uh, some graduate students, some PhD graduate students, undergraduate students, uh, graduates are working for uh, TSMC, the world's largest foundry company. And some, grad uh, some students, uh, some graduated students uh, are working for the MediaTek, the, world, the world's fourth largest IC designer. Uh, last but not least, uh, we have cooperation with uh, some large companies uh, nearby our campus. For example, the CH Biotech. This company uh, provides an additional scholarship for uh, graduate students uh, join an, in a program. Uh, they provide an additional scholarship of uh, 1,000 US dollars per month in addition to all our regular uh, university scholarship. So our, uh, the, the graduate of our students, uh, the future of our students, uh, the future of our students is bright. And welcome to join our university. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Professor. Uh, we have a few questions from online. Okay. Uh, one question is one of the most concerned by students, and you have shown in the picture. Uh, how do students work towards their target in working in uh, press, uh, huge companies like TSMC? Uh, okay. What are some keys? Okay, actually we are in the process. Uh, we are working agreements with these large companies. For these overseas students, especially India students, they can get permanent residency to uh, work. I think one of the, the most concerned question. So actually, we are in the process. I know maybe the first thing is the scholarship. Right. The second thing is the op job opportunity. Right. So actually, we are working on the, on the job of opportunity. Right. And you also mentioned that you work with, um, collaborate with some companies who support some sponsorship for our students. Yes, yes. Does that apply to students who uh, may uh, study in your university for over two years or three years? For how long do they sponsor? Oh, no. They sponsor uh, uh, one graduate, actually PhD student, for four years. More than four years or five years. Wow, wow. But wow. the spots are limited. So right. actually, one international student, one right. Vietnamese student got right. a scholarship. So, whatever it is, you have to work hard to get there. Uh, <laughs> yes. Now, currently, we still have uh, available spots. Maybe All right. Future. It's very competitive right. in the future. And Yes, so at the moment, yeah, uh, you're saying that your university is open yeah. and has many um, opportunities for our Indian students. Yes, yes. 
We that, welcome that India great. students. Thank you very much. Thank you. We actually have a lot of questions from online. In case we don't have um, your question being asked here on the stage, you can always leave your question in the Google uh, Google uh, document that is pasted in our introduction. And also, we have a few questions about how actually to apply for these programs. For one, you can visit the website, Study in Taiwan, which will give you overall information and also all the details of each university, as well as the details that we will provide you of all the presenters today in the introduction link. Next up. Uh, we will have National Zhanghua University of Education to introduce to us their university. Thank you. Hi, uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone uh, from the uh, website. Uh, is there any uh, movie clips right here? Oh, uh, is there, I, I, I think there is an innovation movie clips. Uh, let's check on this one first. The National Zhanghua University of Education, NCUE, is one of three normal universities out of more than 150 colleges and universities that offer secondary school teacher certificate programs in Taiwan. The NCUE, which comprises the Jinda and Baoshan campuses that are approximately a 15-minute drive from each other, is located in a culturally vibrant and ecologically rich region in central Taiwan. In addition, it's adjacent to numerous internationally renowned tourist attractions. Every spring, the NCUE welcomes the arrival of approximately 20,000 gray-faced buzzards. These protected birds stop at the NCOE while on their annual northward migration. Their arrival creates an advantageous opportunity for bird viewing and eco-education. The gray-faced buzzard is NCUE's mascot. Its powerful wings and sharp discerning vision symbolize NCUE's fortitude, vitality, and uniquely international perspective. The NCUE, which has been founded to train teachers since 1971, is now a comprehensive university with seven colleges that provide complete university degree programs and exceptional teacher training. Over the past four decades, the NCUE has made constant course innovations and diversifications to cultivate a steady stream of outstanding junior school teachers as well as R&D scientists and economic planning and development personnel in the fields of science, engineering, and business management. In addition, it has evolved into one of the top universities in the areas of vocational education, science education, counseling, language, special education, and physical education. NCUE currently ranks as Taiwan's second largest university of teachers' education and has received the Teaching Excellence Project Grant from the Ministry of Education for 10 consecutive years. Most NCUE graduates go on to successfully reach their goals by entering graduate schools or receiving job and teaching offers. Our excellent achievements in teaching and research are also highly appreciated by the public. Today, the NCUE maintains sister school relationships with more than 100 universities around the world and actively arranges to have its students study overseas as exchange students in the USA, Europe, Japan, South Korea, and mainland China. 
In addition, the 2 plus 2 and 1 plus 1 dual degree programs offered by the NCUE provide students with an opportunity to obtain university degrees from both the NCUE and accredited U.S. universities. Our students also actively participate in overseas volunteer service programs and international skills competitions where they continue to make remarkable achievements every year, bringing honor and fame for Taiwan. The NCUE advocates the models of vitality, exceptionality, social concerns, and global-mindedness. In addition, NCUE's friendly campuses are always filled with positive energy and optimism. By providing scholarly support, skills competitions, overseas study opportunities, career counseling, and student outreach programs, the NCUE creates a healthy and harmonious learning environment, adding a rich diversity to the career paths of its students. The NCUE proudly sustains its traditions while passing the torch to new generations. We leverage our advantages and solid foundation to innovate and evolve with the times. In the future, the NCUE will continue to connect with competitive industries, encourage research, promote cultural aesthetics, and protect the ecological environment. The NCUE strives to be considered as excellent at teaching, brilliant at research, and a globally renowned university. Okay, uh, let me get to the uh, PowerPoint file here. And my name is Wayne Yan. You just call me Wayne. And actually, I'm the uh, associate professor from Department of Electrical Engineering uh, from uh, College of Engineering. And we will initiate the uh, International Master of Science program in engineering, uh, in engineering next year. All right, I will just uh, briefly skip those uh, introductions, and actually they are uh, also displayed in the movie clips. And actually, Changhua is the, at the uh, is located at a uh, very ancient city in Taiwan, uh, the center of the center, uh, cent the center of the central Taiwan. Anyway, All right? Uh, okay. Uh, actually, we are founded in 1971, uh, and it's actually a very young university. And, uh, uh, and right here, uh, actually, we have uh, there are totally uh, 358 faculties. Uh, probably, I I think right now we should be a uh, a little bit more than uh, 400. And uh, anyway, according to uh, previous questions from the west side. Uh, for the uh, good news for the uh, international student right here, the first year tuition would be totally weaved. So no problem about the cost and uh, uh, the expenditure about uh, the study in uh, NCUE. Okay, uh, I will just directly get into the introduction of College of Engineering. And uh, we are located in another uh, new campus. Uh, it's at the uh, at a uh, at the hill of the mountain, uh, probably I would say like a ten minute drive from the uh, uh, Changhua City. 
uh, center. And this building, the college building, uh, is actually uh, built about uh, three years ago. Uh, quite, uh, it's a quite new uh, building. All right, uh, just like uh, previous uh, two university, uh, uh, Chiangwan University of Education is also located in the central Taiwan, and uh, uh, we have a very good connection and relationship with, uh, with uh, several universities right here uh, at the cent uh, cent uh, central region of uh, Taiwan, and there are several uh, science park right here, uh, Taichung, Huawei. Uh, this also Chongqing, Chongqing, uh, quite, quite near the uh, Chinan University, uh, Chinan University, and Howley uh, Park. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, we have done uh, uh, numerous uh, industrial academia collaborations with uh, uh, tons of companies in uh, Central Taiwan, especially from uh, mostly, I would say mostly, especially about. Taichung Industrial Park and uh, Central Taiwan Science Park right here. And uh, also, there is a, uh, another new uh, Changhua Coastal Park. It's also uh, a special focus on wind power generation. So uh, this time, uh, next year, uh, our uh, international um, Master of Science program will be mostly focused on AI and uh, uh, IC design area. So uh, these are the four uh, um, most significant institute we have collaborated with. Uh, each, the, uh, hold on, Industrial Technology Research Institute, and here the Precision Machinery uh, Research Center, it is uh, located in Taichung. And also, we have a long-term uh, relationship collaboration with the uh, Metal Industry uh, R&D Center. Okay, uh, four our uh, uh, four departments would be our uh, total uh, would be fully supports this uh, international master. Uh, Master Science, uh, Master of Science Engineering Program, uh, Mechatronics, elect, uh, Mechatronics, Electronic, Electrical, uh, Computer Science and Information Engineering. So uh, I will just uh, skip to this one. Okay. So there are two uh, major fields uh, we will be focused on. The first one is. Internet of Things and Integrated Circuit for Communication. Another one is uh, Smart Manufacturing and Artificial Intelligence Applications. So uh, if, you, if you are interested in those classes, you can check on the website to see those details, uh, the details for those classes. Also, we provide uh, advanced courses, especially about uh, nano application, advanced uh, uh, circuit design, integrated circuit design, and also the artificial intelligence application to uh, with uh, neural network or even the uh, smart manufacturing. Okay, uh, I, I believe uh, every university have uh, uh, tons of uh, collaboration with those uh, uh, corporations from different science park. Uh, we we especially have uh, cooperation with different uh, famous uh, manufacturing uh, companies in Taichung. For example, Hafer is the uh, largest uh, tool machine manufacturers in Taiwan, and Delta. Uh, we are recently collaborated then uh, to construct a very uh, the very first uh, one megawatt uh, battery and. Uh, battery energy sy uh, system. And also, uh, yeah, uh, we have a long-term collaboration with uh, AU Optronics and also the Corning, the Corning, the largest flat panel uh, uh, providers in Taiwan. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the key point right here would be like uh, 
faculty to graduate student ratio, uh, ratio especially this uh, next year for the uh, international graduate program in engineering, it's almost one to one according to the uh, approval uh, number student numbers from uh, Ministry of Education, and uh, currently we could say that would be like a, even one to one. So uh, you will if you come to the NCUE for the uh, uh, International Master of Science Program in Engineering, uh, you will be very well taken. All right. So right here, uh, it's almost one to one, and we also have a lot of uh, language, a lot of support from language center. If you are interested in, in Chinese culture, or uh, the very traditional Chinese culture, or even language uh, courses in Taiwan. Okay, uh, I will just briefly show you the uh, some several pictures about life in campus. Uh, this one is the uh, college building, laboratory right here, uh, dormitory, and new uh, sports uh, facility, and new uh, uh, aquarium, uh, gymnasium, and also there are several new uh, uh, gymnasium under construction, especially in Baoshan campus. Okay, uh, here for the uh, multiculture. Uh, uh, actually, I, uh, uh, for the uh, previous two, two or three years, I believe, I believe, I heard of that uh, uh, several, uh, some Indian students have some like a uh, crack, uh, cricket ball game with uh, Pakistan students in the uh, Jinder campus. Okay, and uh, oh. And there is the uh, Austin Smart Energy Center, and actually we have founded this center. And right now, currently, uh, there are several uh, research projects going on uh, because of this energy center. The, very, uh, the largest and first uh, megawatt battery engine energy system all right, uh, operated by university. So if you come to uh, NCUE for the, uh, 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 for the Master of Science program in engineering, I believe uh, you can uh, be involved in this research, in those research projects. All right, uh, the point is, oh, we are uh, we are we are ready for uh, for the. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, we are ready for the uh, international uh, program. Oops, sorry, some, probably some technical problem. Anyway, we are ready for the uh, student uh, from India because uh, actually I already uh, conducted uh, the uh, internship program, especially for Indian students for several years. Uh, and some of them has already uh, got jobs or internship uh, in Taiwan. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I, okay, oh, let's stay here, all right. So uh, he, there are some pictures about, uh, uh, we visit the local factory about, especially this one, the textile factory, and we have conducted some programs about uh, AI application or AI research to the uh, factory production line right here, and also how to, uh, how to continue some research project in collaboration with Delta or Wind Power Energy uh, Company, and they will uh, they will make use of the power generated from uh, offshore uh, Changhua Coastal and store the energy in the in this huge monster. And we have also uh, some conducted some uh, uh, field tests, field experiments, uh, especially for the uh, agriculture research. Okay. And here's uh, some, uh, several Indian students. They uh, they have already got some. They have already uh, got the jobs in Taiwan after this internship uh, program. So I will probably said that, that uh, the key point is that NCUE is already uh, ready for this uh, future international master of science program in engineering. Okay. Thank you very much, Professor time. Yang. Yeah. Thank you. It's fine. It's fine. We have a question for you uh, yeah. online. Uh, the question is, what skill set do uh, these Taiwan software or even hardware companies expect from these graduate students? Uh, well, 
a little bit complicated. Anyway, uh, mostly uh, you you would probably have to ha uh, have to have a uh, good communication skill with uh, different engineers. Uh, since uh, probably uh, I would say that like eighty percent engineers uh, would be uh, local Taiwanese, so you have to have uh, you have to be able to communicate with them and uh, have good uh, relationship collaboration skills with them. Hmm. I guess that's where Taiwan Education Center in India come into place, that we offer the language program. And also, in your university, there is um, uh, Mandarin courses available sure. mm -hmm. for everybody. Yeah. Uh, so we have, we're running short of time. So <laughs> yeah. we're really sorry. But we have a lot of questions. If your question is not answered, please uh, put your answer in the Google mm -hmm. Sheet. And before we wrap up our first session, I would like to invite our all our university who are visiting us today to come up to the stage for a group picture. In another five minutes, in an another five minutes rest, we will um, we will having we'll be having five more university introducing uh, to us about their university and programs, including one of the largest Indian communities in Taiwan. Maybe professors can come to the first row. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for all the universities, uh, National Taiwan University, National Union University of Science and Technology, National Jinan University, National Zhanghua University of Education, visiting us today here in Taida. In another five minutes rest, we will have um, Providence University, National Yang, uh, Yangming Jiao Tong University, uh, Yuanzi University, Mingzhi University of Technology, introducing to us Yubei University. While we're taking a rest, I take the liberty to answer some of the questions we have online. Um, some of the questions, including uh, the most important, is scholarship. And uh, the website, Study in Taiwan, you can see that we have a government scholarship, a university level and scholarship, and also scholarships from different labs in the, by the professors. For the government uh, scholarship, you can apply to it uh, every March to uh, Taipei Economic and Cultural Center in India. The scholarship, um, will cover a large amount of may, maybe even more than what you need in living and studying in Taiwan. And it's one of the most competitive. And then if you're interested in studying Mandarin in Taiwan, there's a Mandarin scholarship also announced at the same time every year in March by uh, Taipei Economic and Cultural Center in India. Please uh, look closely, follow closely to the announcement. OK, we have a five minutes rest, and we will be introducing the next five universities.
We have one more minute. You are from Providence. Your name? My name is Rishikesh. Rishikesh, okay. Yes, Rishikesh, like the river. Yeah, I've been white rafting. White water rafting. It's cool. How long have you been in Taiwan? Uh, many years. Like many over years. Over 10 years. Wow. How did you first choose to come here? Mm. Back then, there weren't that many scholarships. Um, <laughs> actually, I got some scholarships. So I come you did? Oh, yeah, OK. That That's why. I guess. Okay, we can elaborate that. Yeah. Okay, we'll start. Hello and welcome back to the 2021 Taiwan Career and Higher Education for Indian Talents. Next session, the next hour, we have five universities coming from all over Taiwan to introduce to us about their university and their study programs. First up, we have Mr. Rishkesh from Providence University to introduce his experience also of the university programs. Please. Okay, so um, let me pull down my mask so that I can speak comfortably. And no problem, we have enough social distance, so you're safe, take it easy. So let me introduce myself. I'm from uh, Providence University, and let me walk you through my PVD. Okay, so my topic of, like my, my presentation topic is higher education opportunities for Indian students. And this is a call from Providence University, Taiwan. So let me quickly introduce myself. My name is uh, Rishikesh Kire, Rishikesh, Rishikesh Kire. And uh, currently I work as uh, assistant professor at International College, Providence University. Also, I have one more title. I'm responsible for like international student recruitment at a school. So I think this is my great opportunity to talk to you, and I think you'll enjoy my talk. OK, so these are my contents. Uh, don't worry, it will be easy. OK, so this is my uh, name card in here. My phone number is given here. If you want to contact me, you can contact. Uh, and uh, this is our dean, Dr. Philip. Um, like, today he's not here, but uh, I think if you have any questions, you can contact me or Dr. Philip. Okay, so let me first uh, tell you about Taiwan because sometimes some people confuse between Taiwan and Thailand. And so let me tell you, like, this is India in here, you can see, and if you go straight, uh, Taiwan is here. Yeah. So, like, we are actually nearby, not very far, but in the map we are here. Okay, so uh, let me show you Providence University, and in fact, let me bring you there. But before I bring you there, let me uh, let me uh, show you where uh, Providence University is. So we are located in Taichung City, like in the center of Taiwan. And uh, let me bring you there in person. Thank you. Okay, so this is uh, the Google map. Actually, the Google India map does not show you uh, the street view, but in Taiwan you can see that. And uh, you can see the Providence University and uh, the street view of that. You can, you can practically do that for any school in Taiwan. So, and you can move around and, and check if, if the, you know, the atmosphere is like <laughs> suitable for you or not. Or you can make some judgments on that basis. So I think uh, the Google street view will help you with that. Okay. Okay, so uh, Taichung is uh, one of the uh, like second largest city in Taiwan, 
and it's a big city, like approximately of the size of Pune. So it's a big city kind of. And we have many distinguishing features, tourist places, and many, many things there, including industrial parks. So it's a big city. Okay, so let me talk about Providence University. We are a private university, but we are not a new, new school, actually. We are operating like over 65 years, over 65 years. And uh, currently, currently, we are having over 12,000 students on campus. Uh, we have over 650, 630 full-time faculty. And uh, currently, we are focusing on internationalization. Uh, means uh, seriously, seriously, we are re really focusing on international uh, students and internationalization. And in doing so, we are making like four types of efforts. First is like international, internationalization through education programs in which we have uh, like exchange programs, full-time programs, double degree programs, triple degree programs so that you can explore those. Uh, second is like internationalization through university collaboration. So we signed um, MOUs, like contracts, partnership contracts with uh, many international universities. In fact, we have many partners in India as well. Also, we are active in collaborative research and faculty exchange programs. Okay. Third way is uh, through technology workshops. Uh, each year, we organize various technology workshops like big data, artificial intelligence, unmanned aerial vehicles, and international students come to attend and participate. I'll show you some pictures later on. And the last part is like cultural immersion programs. So in summer and winter vacations, we have cultural immersion programs so that international students can come to Taiwan, come to our school and experience the culture. So we, we try to like help international students in terms of cultural expedition. Okay, so um, talking about internationalization through educational programs, we have uh, like short term programs like, you know, internship programs or summer winter, like six week short programs. We also have exchange programs, so, so like you can come um, and join us for one semester. And we have like special programs like uh, double degree or, or triple degree in the sense you can get certificates from two different universities. But this is the most popular one, full-time bachelor's, master's or PhD program. So I think uh, if you are interested, please think about it. And I'll, I'm going to give you more information about it. Anyway, so we also have like lots of international exchange students. So like last year we have uh, about 1,000 students on campus. Because of COVID-19, the number of uh, exchange students declined, but still we, are, we managed to have over 1,000 students. Okay, you can see some Indian students here, you know, and in the group pictures as well. So they are from IIM, and they, like, IIM sends um, some students to us each year. Yeah, also, like, uh, different students from different countries, you can see also the IIM students and uh, other European students and Southeast Asian students. So you can see a r real international climate at our school. Okay, so we have uh, many partners in India, like, like we have over 33 partners, but I'm listing like main 10 partners in here. And we have, we're like really active with them. Active in the sense, uh, we personally, like me and um, my Taiwanese uh, professor, we both went to India and visit universities and establish relationships, as well as like, uh, we also call them on our campus and we have various uh, activities like that. Yeah, so you can see like our partners like uh, MITS, Chitkara University, Kurukshetra University, Amity University, and others. So it's like bilateral, it's not, not like one way. So we are really active in that sense. Also we have some international symposiums and summits. Yeah, these are some pictures. Uh, technology workshops, so uh, these are Indian students who visited our big data, advanced big data, unmanned aerial vehicles workshops from Symbiosis and MITS. Also we have uh, students from Amity, SRM and Chitkara who attend those workshops. Okay, also we have cultural immersion programs, so students can come enjoy the cultural exchange and uh, do various things. Okay, so important point, academics. So um, we are focused on a few programs like fully taught 
English programs such as uh, BBA program. I think in India we call it BBA. Uh, this is like international business program. Also we have international uh, MBA program. Like these programs are fully taught in English. Uh, we also have a new program uh, that is like international program in computer science which is equivalent to BSc computers or BCA and uh, I think this is a new program fully taught in English and this is a like a foreign language program that is partially taught in English. So if you are interested in arts uh, you can consider about this program as well but otherwise you have BBA program, MBA program and uh, BSc in computer science. So you have these opportunities. On the top of that if you are interested in, in research then you can also apply to uh, like food science program, uh, cosmetic science and applied chemistry. So if you like for masters and PhD uh, these like courses are partially taught in English and you can come you can join the labs and you can do research that's what you can do. Okay so scholarships so like uh, mostly uh, most of the students get a uh, first year scholarship in the sense uh, you don't have to pay um, tuition fees. Actually we have some changes in the regulation so in the sense like you first have to pay the fees but we give that back to you. So uh, because of COVID-19 we have to you know do some adjustments. So uh, this is the thing so for first year definitely you are not you don't have to pay your scholarship. Um, yeah, depending on the conditions, but I, I should not say definitely, but yeah, this is a situation. And uh, second year scholarship is like re renewed on the basis of your performance. So if you are performing well, then uh, you know, you continue to receive scholarship. For a uh, bachelor's program, you get it for four years at the most. For master's program, you get it two years. And for PhD, up to five years, you can get it. Yeah, and like uh, we have to pay some miscellaneous fees and I'll, I'll tell you uh, the budget about that. So like various expenses are there like for example like accommodation, uh, Taiwan visa, air tickets and insurance and eating food, accommodation, these things. So if you are a kind of a stingy person then you have to pay about uh, 20,000 rupees per month. That's your stingy life. Like you, you are very tight and uh, if, you're, if you live a normal life you may have to expense about 25,000 rupees per month and uh, if you have like kind of a party life it, it can go beyond, beyond 35,000. So uh, yeah like even in India actually you have to pay for your food and accommodation so uh, yeah it's like that. So like in simple words, in simple words for two years like if you come here for a master's program I think minimum you need 5 lakh rupees for your own expense which includes your food, accommodation and other things. Okay, so application. This is extremely important. So um, if you want to apply we have two important deadlines. First is like 30th of November. Uh, this is for the spring semester which is over now. But you can apply to uh, you know for the next semester 30th of May. And like please uh, scan this QR code. I, I'll have in the end of the PPT as well. But Or you can contact uh, Naomi Harris which is our international coordinator, OIA coordinator and her email address is this. Or you can contact me, my email address is here. I'll show you, t I'll show, show you that later. Okay, so these are some uh, like challenges and benefits of uh, education in Taiwan like challenges um, include cultural challenges, language challenges, uh, cross-cultural communication and uh, we have differences in educational systems. So maybe you may expect very book oriented exam or like education but no it's not like that. You may have to um, you know you may experience the research centric education and uh, um, qualification to get a job. Maybe you have a degree but you should make sure that you are a, you, you are a good fit for uh, the company you work for. Not only degree wise but also your personality wise, language wise and culture wise. If you are a good fit you can get it. Because like getting a job and sustaining in a job are two different things. So <laughs> uh, yeah and also the cost. These are some challenges. But also like uh, there are benefits. So you can get like very good research opportunities and uh, 
maybe if you are lucky you, you can get uh, a good scholarship from professor as well because professors and labs are getting good funding. Uh, we have excellent uh, lab facilities in Taiwan, so definitely if, if you are interested in research, this is a good place for you. If you are, if you are interested in fun, I am not sure, but if you are deeply interested in research, yes, you can definitely pursue your career in here. Also, uh, culture, if you are interested in Chinese language, you can definitely get international atmosphere in, in here, uh, personality development and other benefits you can get. Yeah, this is our campus, a few pictures. I am going to wrap up like just in one minute. So you can see our school is beautiful. Uh, this is our great library and dormitories. Yeah, about like per semester you have to pay about 25,000 rupees. So yeah, uh, gymnasium facilities. So I think, I think we have excellent facilities like, like our swimming pool is just like a five star hotel uh, and you can just uh, access it in like very cheap and beautiful facilities. Of course, like all schools in Taiwan, all universities in Taiwan have corporate connections. So uh, that is because Taiwan is industrial country. So I think um, the corporate connection is strong, very strong. So in the end, I just want to show you uh, the QR code. Please scan that so that you can contact our Office of International Affairs or you can write me an email at rukire at pu.edu.tw. So this is not a question mark. These are my initials. So thank you very much for your presentation. And if you have any questions, please go ahead. Thank you very much, Professor Kire. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, one question for you. Uh, I've noticed that uh, you have, uh, I understand that you have been in Taiwan for 10 years, including your study and then uh, following this career. Uh, how would you compare the environment for Indian students 10 years back and now? Because I noticed that uh, the university that you collaborate with, Jakara, SRM, and MET, they, these are where Taiwan Education cent uh, Center uh, have office in. So can you share with us what the differences are 10 years back and now? So like uh, 10 for, years back? Uh, for Indian students. For Indian students. Right. Okay, okay. So, um, okay, this is very um, good question, I would say, very good question. I think um, in, in India, uh, the education system is changing very rapidly. And also like India is big, in different places we have different situations. So we cannot generalize that. I think in th Taiwan we have more or less uh, very stable, but I think uh, Taiwan is going more towards research. And uh, I think uh, we are getting lots of funding for uh, research. So that's why I, I mentioned that. If students are interested in research, this is a, a very good place. Right. I see the great facilities you have in your university. Yes, yes. We do have. We really do have. Right, right, right. So you would say that students coming for uh, the facilities for research, this is the place to be. That's what I think so. Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, we don't have enough time, but Professor here has given a very comprehensive introduction to uh, being an Indian student in their university. Next up, we have the university from Xinzhu, uh, National Yangming Jiao Tong University, previously, previously known as National Jiao Tong University, has combined with National Yangming University, a combination of medical and engineering. Uh, now we would like to introduce Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Sagarika, a PhD student from NYCU. Uh, uh, this is our beautiful university. Uh, uh, today, I'm here to introduce about uh, my university, NYCU, and also my department, ECS IGP. Uh, this is the uh, history of our university, NYCU. 
Actually, we are NCTU before uh, February 2021, but in uh, February 2021, we merged with one of the um, yeah, prestigious uh, medical university that is National Yangming University, and we became National Yangming Chautang University in short uh, NYCU. Uh, actually, our campus is uh, all around uh, all around the Taiwan, including one hospital. Uh, but uh, our Guanfu, uh, we will talk about our Guanfu campus, which is near the Science Park. Uh, uh, you can also, uh, like many of us, know uh, the value of Science Park for Taiwan. It is uh, actually the Silicon Valley of East. Uh, you can find uh, 500 plus companies in. Um, uh, this uh, Silicon Valley, the Sinchu Science Park, uh, it has 500 plus companies, which also include some big names like TSMC, MediaTek, UMC, and many other com companies are there. We also share boundary with uh, seven key laboratories, uh, national laboratories, which are also helping Taiwan in uh, 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 like making uh, innov innovation-driven future. So uh, I can uh, name some of these, like ITRI, uh, that is ITRI, NSRRC, NDL, NML. Uh, all these are uh, very good laboratories, and we have uh, very good collaboration with these laboratories also. Uh, as you can see, uh, like uh, I, uh, we uh, include only six uh, picture of CEOs, but most of like 65% of CEOs and top level managers in Sinchu Science Park are alumni. Uh, so we just powered on the, these things. Uh, and this is the worldwide uh, map of our collaborations. Uh, but here I want to highlight about our collaboration with India. Uh, uh, we, uh, we have the very good collaboration with uh, topmost four IITs, Delhi, Mumbai, and uh, Madras and Kanpur. Uh, we have very good collaboration with them. Uh, every year also we recruit many uh, talents from these four IITs uh, for the um, semiconductor um, uh, research and uh, experiment. Also, we have a dual degree program with uh, like many countries, including USA, uh, um, uh, like Europe, uh, Japan, Australia, all that countries. We have very good collaboration over there with the academic organizations. Uh, here is the uh, like uh, 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 just an introduction of our international uh, student. We have many international degree seeking students, like almost 16. Uh, and I here also I want to highlight about India only. We have like 16% uh, of Indian graduates in our university. Like almost 171 uh, Indian graduates are currently having their higher degree in our university. Uh, we have many uh, English uh, uh, degree programs. Among that, ECS IGP is one uh, from which department I belong to. And I will now uh, um, uh, give uh, uh, like my friend, Aburba, uh, she will introduce about our department. So. Uh, hello, everyone. So my name is Apurva, and I am a master's student in National Yangming Chautung University. So thank you, Sagarika, for the lovely introduction about NYCU. And now I am talking about uh, this international IGP uh, uh, department, which is electrical engineering and computer science. So basically, in our department, there are uh, five major concentrations, which include nanoelectronic devices circuits, communication technologies, photonics and display, computer science and artificial intelligence, and biomedical control systems. So uh, this ECS basically is a combined program from EC and CS college, and it was established in 2000. 2008 for the master degree program and in 2012 for the PhD degree program. We are having 230 plus uh, faculty members from EC and CS college and as of the students, currently we have 18 Indian students and 38 uh, uh, 18 Indian students in master's program and 38 Indian students in PhD programs. And we are having more than 400 uh, alumni, uh, among them 132 uh, were Indian students. Moving on towards the highlights of ECSIG, 
program. This program is specifically designed for the international students and all the courses delivered in this program is in English. Then our department has recently successfully collaborated with the MediaTek, which is uh, one of the one of the largest uh, industry and we have some scholarship and collaboration with the TSMC also and we uh, like for PhD student or master student uh, we send student for the internship and they give the scholarship to them. Uh, we do have business Mandarin class specifically designed for the international student for, especially for the ECS student uh, apart from the foreign language department and uh, the least but this last but not least the departmental scholarship and paper awards are also there for the extraordinary student let me tell you one thing here this scholarship and paper awards are also there from nycu but we do provide uh, some scholarship and paper awards for the, from the department sides as well here you can see some of the pictures for the, from the business mandarin class and we do have tsmc talk for the, especially for the indian students and we have every some Semester we have job fairs, and many of our alumni are in TSMC, MediaTek, Delta Electronics, and UMC, so on. Even my friends are like in Synopsis, MediaTek. Yeah, so so many people from ECS department. This is about the life in ECS IGP. Uh, we have company visit. Uh, this picture is from the last. Here, you can see me here, there, I am there. So uh, this, we went to Delta Electronics for the industrial visit. And we do have international week celebrations and workshops and of course parties as well. And then uh, this is the important part uh, you can like focus. We, we have uh, three kind of scholarship. One is NYCU scholarship. Other is NYCU elite PhD student that is for the PhD students. And other is Taiwan scholarship. The NYCU scholarship is for the bachelor, master, and doctorate student and applicable for four years, two years, and five years respectively. And for the elite PhD student, this scholarship is given to the uh, PhD student who is like an outstanding for the two years and then later he can apply for the NYCU scholarship. And the third is from the Taiwan government like MOFA and MOE. Uh, so the, here are the deadlines, application deadlines. We have twice in a year we are uh, uh, welcome, the, we'll welcome the students and for the fall semester the deadlines from the December 20 to uh, March 5 and for the spring semester uh, from August 10 to uh, September 30 every year. And make sure that for the spring semester, uh, this, this spring semester is only for the graduate programs. and. Um, you can take the screenshot of that barcode and if you uh, want to know more about scholarship and application, you can just go to the link and search it. And you can see that December 20 is like coming. So you, if you are planning to, uh, if you are planning to go, you can just talk to our OIA. So this is about me. Uh, uh, I am the master student in uh, electrical engineering and computer science, and my concentration is in nano electronics and device circuit. My uh, work is in MOCVD, hemp, and transistors, and my education is this one. And the previous friend, she, her name is Sagarika, and her concentration is in computer science and art, artificial intelligence. Her, she is doing her research is in UAV, reinforcement learning, and 5G. And yeah, that's it. If you have any uh, question, you can just contact to our Office of International Affairs. And uh, also, uh, you can follow us on the Facebook. And if you have any question, just send an email to ecsii at the rate nycu.edu.tw. Uh, and we are happy to help you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Can I ask you to stay sure. on the stage and also invite Sagrika sure. to come with us? Uh, I noticed that both of you are girls. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, most of our presenters are guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I wonder why you chose Taiwan uh, for further study. Do, is there anything special about Taiwan for a girl, an Indian girl? Uh, 
Yeah, so maybe I'll take this question. Uh, actually, I when I came here, before coming here, I did my undergraduation from Amity University. Professor Dire just talked about Amity University. So uh, then I worked for three years in the India. And later on, I have like uh, have that kind of zeal to learn about fabrication in semiconductor. And we all know that what's like be best than Taiwan for the semiconductors, right? Yes, right. So that's why I chose Ta Taiwan to like to come. To, yeah, to come. Okay, I see, I see, and probably some seniors have guided you to yeah, come yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I understand. Yes, yeah. actually here from India, in yeah. National Yangming Shaotung University. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of seniors, there's a large population of Indians in NYCU. So um, back when you just uh, reached Taiwan, um, till now, you have witnessed so many seniors who has passed out of your program. How, what is the rate, ratio? What, what is the rate of people going on to working for TSMC or the major companies in Science Park? Um, actually, I'm here from last eight years. Uh, I did my master as well as now I am doing my PhD. And uh, I don't know whether this is to share or not, but my husband also did his PhD, and now he's uh, a professor in NTUST. So I I am looking like uh, my life in Taiwan. Like I see like uh, the small smartphone to now the larger one. Some like you can say the keypad to the smart device. Yeah. I see the Taiwan in these uh, eight years. Right. Uh, that time we don't have like uh, you know the Skype is the only. Uh, media to communicate with our uh, family, uh, family. Yeah. but now we have many facilities and I see Taiwan in the whole these years and also I can say like Taiwan give us a lot of things right. also I have many friends who are working uh, like uh, topmost uh, position of uh, the companies as well as uh, we have many uh, friends who just graduated and got uh, the professor position here Right, like right. Uh, four like to five students, uh, yeah. Earlier, yeah. yeah. Four to five uh, of our uh, my my own friends. They are now faculty in many uh, mm, uh, university. Yes. So I think this is rare in any other country, right. which uh, Taiwan is providing us. Right. And also, uh, like as a uh, girl, as a mother, I can say Taiwan is very safe right. for me. Uh, yes. And here, life is like very smooth. Right. Uh, and uh, the only barrier is, I think, the language. But yes. I think the Taiwan government is planning uh, by 2030, they will make Taiwan bilingual. bilingual. So right. I don't think that that will be a big problem in future. So <laughs> I don't think language is a big yeah. issue back in, yeah. in Xinju because... Yes, in yeah. Xinju you will find the old people are also speaking English. Right. So in Xinju it's like we don't feel any kind of difference. Right, right. So right. Thank yeah. you very much for sharing and I hope you enjoy your life in Taiwan. Yeah, Thank you very sure. much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next up we have, uh, we're bringing to you uh, Yuanzhi University from Taoyuan, also a place for internationals coming over from all over the world. Hello everyone, I'm from Yuanzi University. My name is Ting Li. I'm the Deputy Chief in the Global Affairs Office. I bring my Indian students later on uh, when uh, we hear the introduction of Yuanzi University. All right, so oh, this is thingy. Okay, as you can tell uh, from the previous university's introduction, we know that uh, Taiwan is uh, quite an interesting country. It is not that big, but not too small, huh? 22nd in the whole world, all right? And then uh, we are very competitive, especially in the IT industry, right? And uh, that's why we are in this section. And then uh, our population is 23 uh, million people, and uh, compared to India, it's just a small, small part. Uh, so actually, in Taiwan, people are very close together, right? Everybody is nice to each other. I think the Indian students feel that, right? Taiwanese very friendly, right? All right. And uh, so how about Yuan 
Yuanzi University. Yuanzi University is established by the founder of the Far Eastern Group, uh, Xu Yuanzi, in 1989. So it's not quite a not not an old uh, university, quite a young one, huh? thirty some uh, some years uh, from now, from the start. And then the Far Eastern Group uh, is what kind of uh, business group it is? It is established in 1949 a lot older than Yuanzi University, and then it has lots of subsidiaries and lots of employees in Taiwan and around the whole world. And Yuanzi University, as I said before, is established in 1890, uh, eight, uh, 1989. So um, why I especially emphasize this uh, Foreign Group, uh, because it related to our Yuanzi University. That's why our university is very um, uh, healthy in uh, financial Financially speaking, huh? we have uh, a lot of funding from this uh, Far Eastern group uh, to help this young university grow very fast. All right? And uh, so, where is Yuanzi University? It is very close by. Why I said that? Uh, because it is closest, one of the closest uh, university to the international airport if you fly to Taipei. All right, that is the biggest international airport in Taiwan. And uh, let me see, oh, I can put it here. And then, so, so this is Taoyuan, this is the international airport. And then here we are at Yuanzi University. So we are just 25 minutes away from the airport and then 50 minutes away from the train station walking, walking distance, okay? 25 minutes is the driving distance. And then we are actually also very close to Taipei City. Taipei City is right here, Taipei, northern part of Taiwan. And then only 40 minutes. So today I drive from Taoyuan to here. It's actually not too far away, about uh, 40 to 45 minutes. All right, so some quick facts for Yuanzi University. And uh, in our university, we started from the engineering um, college. And uh, we have five colleges, engineering, electrical and communication, informatics. I am under informatics. Uh, I'm under the Department of Information Management. And then we have the business college, the management, and the humanities and social science. And uh, we have uh, 22 undergraduate programs, 31 the master programs, including the MBA and EMBA, and then 11 PhD programs. To a new school, quite a lot of programs that we have. And uh, for the faculties, we have uh, five, uh, um, more than 500 faculties, and then uh, lots of staff that helps the students to be uh, able to uh, study well, uh, a lot of people to serve us. And then for our students, around uh, close to 9,000 students, and then 25% are graduate students. So you can tell that our university is very research oriented. And uh, we are very, uh, uh, very internationalized also. We have more than 8%. This is the new number because of the COVID-19, the, the rate dropped a little bit because of the um, uh, exchange students, uh, some couldn't come, uh, but uh, usually we'll have uh, more of that. Okay, so here is the Yuanzi University's uh, reputation around the world, different areas, business, engineering, computer science, telecommunications, these are all our strong uh, areas that uh, we developed. And then these are the uh, quality teachings that uh, we are IEEE um, uh, accredited, and then the business school is a uh, CSB accredited also. And then for the features, and then we have, um, we are actually the first bilingual university in Taiwan. Can you believe it? We are just 30 some years, and then, but actually we are the first bilingual university in Taiwan. That's why our professors in Yuanzi University, one of our requirements to be able to, hi to be hired by Yuanzi University is that uh, we can teach in English. So a lot of our courses are taught in English. And then we are also the first university to implement a five-year dual degree system. A lot of undergraduate students, they like it because they can get the undergrad plus the master program within five years. And then um, we also add a programming, as, um, a programming language as a, a required uh, course in Yuanzi University. All undergraduate students need to learn programming because right now is our, the new language that we have to learn, right? And then, um, so uh, related to you, um, 
maybe the interdiscipline programs we have a lot, even though with the social science degree students, they also have some interdiscipline programs related to like engineering or mechanical engineering. engineering. So even though the, peop, uh, the students in the arts program, and then they will also link with the engineering students to learn together in the in interdiscipline program. And uh, some other features in our uh, university, uh, these are the um, colleges that related to, um, uh, as I said, uh, the five colleges and then the 25 departments. And then there are some English programs that uh, has been uh, established during, uh, I think, three years ago. Right now in our university, each college has an English program. It is undergrad. English program. So there's one English program in the Electrical Communication Engineering College, one under College of Informatics, one under Engineering English program, one under Management, and one under Humanities and Social Sciences. So a lot of our international students who would like to go to the undergrad, and then they will join the English programs under each college. All right, so we have lots of uh, research centers like big data, communication research, fuel cell. And then you see that when there is a research center in a university, and then you know that these are the areas that the university is good at uh, in, in a research term. So uh, these are all the um, uh, research centers that we have. And then for international partnership uh, around the world, actually, it, um, this is. Uh, not so updated that uh, this year we have also signed a lot of uh, MOUs and cooperation contract with other universities. Not the most updated one, but uh, we are very um, um, uh, excited to have all the cooperations within the uh, uh, with the whole world, all the universities, especially the good ones in the whole world. And um, all right, some scenery about our university. And uh, this is our campus. We have uh, these buildings, and uh, each college uh, locates at each building. And then this is the um, uh, students' activities, the swimming pool, the fitness center, and then we have a beautiful library, and then the dormitory and the cafeterias. All right, so yes, these are some pictures of our courses. The students are actually, uh, this is uh, the art one uh, that I mentioned about, oh, oh where's my, anyway. Here, there we go. And then uh, some of them are the interdiscipline program that I mentioned about uh, linking with the art students and the engineering students. And then these are the dormitories, uh, the um, scenery for where you live. And then for the international act activities, our international students love these activities. It's not only for uh, local students, but mingle together and we have a global student association and then they all love each other and I have a lot of different kinds of activities going on and then funded by the university. Okay, and then so I bring my Indian students from the video. So how about uh, we watch the video that uh, we have a PhD student in the um, uh, PhD program, uh, PhD student in uh, chemical engineering and then who would like to share with us his experience. Thank you. Hello everyone, it's Dev. I'm from Bhubaneswar, India and uh, I'm a PhD student at the uh, Department of Chemical Engineering and Material Science in Yuanxi University, Taiwan. Uh, I came here in the year of uh, 2020 as a uh, spring semester and uh, I, <laughs> I came here because when I, when I was searching for my PhD studies, I found Taiwan is based in uh, one of the best country in the material science research and uh, as a material scientist, I, my background was physics, so I wanted to work on the energy material. I chose YJU because of its uh, two things, one is its uh, environment and second thing is it's one of the best uh, greenery kind of uh, campus inside uh, Taiwan. We can say it's the best uh, green campus inside Taiwan. And uh, the second thing is its uh, research collaborations. Uh, I like its uh, uh, research uh, research thing. It's like uh, its uh, research collaboration with different 
other universities like they have a collaboration with uh, MIT and uh, different uh, good universities so I like its research background and the uh, second thing is uh, when I talked to my professor I was feeling like yes I want to go here uh, that's why I choose YJU and uh, I can say if you want to join YJU you are making it one of your best choice and uh, when uh, studying in YJU you can get a very good research environment and second thing is the campus will give you a vibe like uh, you are at a, uh, not only inside an educational system, you are in a like a fun loving campus which will uh, wipe out your, if you have like any stress kind of thing, it will wipe out and uh, uh, you will you will feel very happy and uh, because of the greenery, like I am a natural person so because of the greenery you will feel so happy and uh, uh, then if we say about what YJD is offering us, YJD is offering us as a research student, I can say YJD is offering us the best thing is the research environment and the second thing is a uh, very variety of foods inside the campus and uh, variety of peoples, variety of uh, different cultures which we can tie up with each other and at the end I want all of you like if you are from India uh, I want all of you to consider about why did you see its uh, research uh, websites its uh, research progress its campus I think you guys will like it bye bye all right um, just for your information I didn't pay him to say this all right <laughs> I just asked him, hey, Deb, can you make a movie to us and then uh, three, five minutes and then they make it like, you know, within an hour. So it is very natural for him to say the words that uh, he said before. Okay, can I have a next um, PowerPoint? So to contact with us, and uh, this is the information, um, and then you can scan the, um, uh, the QR code there, and then you will have a longer introduction of our university. All right, thank you. Thank you, Professor. Um, yeah, uh, I heard that the research from your student that the research facilities is great and now uh, becoming an international university. A lot of your programs are offering English and we have a question here online asking if you are uh, providing English programs, is there any uh, criteria that you uh, you would like to see when they apply for this program? And also, what is the CGPA that you are roughly looking for? Okay. For our university, actually, under different departments, they require different level of English. So when you apply, so make sure you check the requirements uh, under each program. All right, and then uh, for the uh, uh, CGPA that you mentioned, um, we mostly we, we, we don't have the minimum requirements, but we see the whole profile as a whole. Like, um, do you really like the re to do research? And then, uh, of course, the grades is important. And uh, what is your research interest uh, related to the, um, uh, for example, for the PhD program, like Deb, he contacted the professor directly. I see. When he applied. So before he got accepted, he already knows that this professor's research, it is what he what wants. He wants. Yes. So, um, and then the professor knows that, oh, he, is, he really likes to study in this field. That's why he accepted and told the department, I want this student. I mm. see. Thank you very much. Uh, for back to the question about English. Uh, what kind of test results do you accept? Yes, uh, all international standard tests is okay, uh, like IELTS, TOEFL, it is all fine. I so uh, it, 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 it just, just give us uh, whatever you have. Yes, I, I see. Um, I thank, uh, thank you very much for sharing with us. I understand that your campus is the target place for some uh, drama, TV drama to take place, right? Yes. I, that. Yes. <laughs> I didn't say that, but actually really our campus is very beautiful. We have, uh, one time we have a tour of Indian students coming here to visit from India. And then they all take pictures, take pictures, yes. because a lot of TV dramas actually yes. take scene in yes. Yonsei University. That's yes. right, you're right. Yes, we look forward to more Indian students maybe making their own movies of research in your campus. Yes. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, we have Mingzhi University of Technology to share with us about the program. Uh, good, good afternoon, everybody. I'm the. Before I start my introduction for today, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Eddie. I'm the staff of Office International of, of International Affairs in Mingzhi University of Technology. Also, I'm the person in charge in the division of overseas student. So today I will introduce to everyone about our Mingzhi University of Technology. And also we have invite our India student who have studied in our school for share his experience later. Okay. The history of our school. Uh, our school is established by one of the biggest company in Taiwan, Formosa Plastic Group, and this this company is established in 1955 by Wang brother Wang Yunsheng, Wang Yunsai, and Formosa Plastic Group is one of the largest is one of the largest company in Taiwan, and until now they have what 100 brands in uh, over country and also in Ta in Taiwan they have one hospital and three university and Mingzhi University is one of them and also in 1960 uh, the Mingzhi the the Wang brother have seen the condition of in the Taiwan and they have something about the lack of industrial professional skill in the Taiwan so say they have the thing to establish this school uh, so in December 1963, they have established the Mingzhi University of Technology. Okay, uh, our school is located in the northern of Taiwan, in the New Taipei City, near to the Taipei City and the Taiwan Taiwan Chang'e Airport. So our school location is very strategic. You can see it's near to the MRT station and also bus station. And this, until now, our school is already have the 59 years, years. And this, the faculty member in our school is total is 199, is with the 49 professor and associate professor is 59, and also 66 assistant professor and 21 lecturer. And also the number of students in our school is 40,492. is consists from 3,090, 3,984 bachelor program and also master program is 486 and PhD program is 22. And the ranking of our school MCUT is, this is according to the Global View Monthly, one of the magazine in the Taiwan, they have ranking our university is one of the best private university of science and technology in the Taiwan. And also our university is one of top five university of science and technology in the Taiwan and top 20 university in the Taiwan. And this is the picture of our university. It's like a main gate of our university and founder of Memorial Park and some of the gorgeous nature setting and the building. And also the facility, the facility of our university, like a library, dormitory, prayer room, and cafeteria, also have the swimming pool, gym, basketball, and volleyball courts, badminton courts, and sport field. And the program that we have to offer to the international student is the master program is we have three colleges in our university. The first is College of Engineering. In this college, they have three departments, the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Department of Electrical Engineering, and also the Electronic Engineering. And also the second college is College of Environment and Resource. And this college also have three departments in here. Department of Chemical Engineering, Department of Material Engineering, also the Department of Safety and Health and Environment Engineering. And the last college is College of Manage Management and Design. In this college have four departments. It's Department of Business and Management, Department of Visual Communication Design, and also Industrial, Des Industrial Design, and the last is Industrial Engineering and Management. 
And for the PhD program, we also have two departments for PhD students. It's one is innovative, innovative technology of biomedical engineering and medical device, and also the la and the other one is energy and battery technology. And also in our school, have many many med research center. This is the research center in our school. They have twelve research center in our school, and for the student can also do the research in the there. And uh, next is about our school tuition fee, scholarship, and application. First, the fee. Uh, the tuition fee in our school is one semester is around 1,700 per semester. And on, if you want to live in our school on campus dormitory, per semester is around 300, 300 USD. And if you want to dining in our school, also have the price is 370 per semester USD. And for the scholarship we offer to the international student, they have two kind of scholarship. The first scholarship is full scholarship. So uh, the full scholarship, if uh, the tuition fee will be totally waived for 100%, and also we have free dormitory for the international student. And for the 50% scholarship, if 50% for the tuition fee, and also 50% for the dormitory fee. And for our school application time is for fall semester intake in the January 1st until the April 30. And for the spring semester intake in the August 1st until the October 15. And this is the QR code for application website. If you have interest, you can just scan it. You can auto link to the application website. And this is about our school video. Help me to play. My name is Nurul Dalamin and I'm from Indonesia. So I already spent more than one year staying here. Well, the first time that I remember when I here was I just fell in love with this place. So this place is amazing and you know like I feel like I've already been home in here. And the people are actually quite of nice and yeah, they you know like like they're excited to meet all of you. I'm Tui. I come from Vietnam. The first day I came here, I was really nervous because at that time, I didn't know anyone. But six months later, I'm crazy because of this place. The wonderful people, beautiful landscape, and the delicious food. Ming Chi University is well known for all its research and development in every field. Students here use different new technologies that helps them to grow their knowledge and research skills. For post master and PhD degree, we have more than 11 research centers to support high-end research topics on different areas in an integrated multidisciplinary way. I really want to pursue my master degree at MCOT because I thought it would be the best place for me to study engineering and the opportunity to be taught by the professionals who are leader in the industry. The life in MCUT has been wonderful, the great place for living and study. This is Dr. Zhou Xie. I'm the Dean for the College of Environment and Resources. In our college, we offer bachelor and master degree in the field of chemical engineering, environmental engineering, and uh, materials engineering. On behavior of the College of Management and Design, welcome to join us. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the College of Engineering of Minji University of Technology. The College of Engineering has three academic departments. They are the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Electronic Engineering, and Electrical Engineering. In here, the campus is very convenient. Exactly, it's very good for you to study and live in. 
It's not only education, but also the studying the good thing for your life. The university has a nice environment and facilities for indoor and outdoor activities such as badminton, jogging and swimming. Now I am in the library of MCUT. This is one of the best library in Taiwan and it's just an example of the excellent facilities of MCUT. So why don't you join us? Because we will excited to meet all of you. Join Minji, Jialu Minzi. Together with MCUT, our future will be changed. Minji University of Technology, you are home in Taiwan. Your 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 home in Taiwan. And the last is this about our contact information. If you have any problem, you want to contact us, you can just contact us by email or they'll have some QR code, you can just scan it. And the last, I will invite our Indian student to share some, share his experience. Hello everyone. Uh, am I audible to all of you? Hello? Okay. Uh, my name is Biswajit Kumar and I am a master student at Mingchi University, University of Technology in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, uh, to tell about Taiwan, it's beautiful. Everybody has said uh, the same. But from my point of view, it's beautiful. And the people here are supportive. And they are actually, you know, they help you at every steps you are in. So for me, when I came here, I was confused about some. Okay. Sorry for that. Uh, I was a little confused that uh, will I be, will I be uh, able to, you know, live a life nicely here because, you know, the language problem and you are out in some very different culture and place. So it was very difficult, but I found it very convenient because of people and the, my lab, lab mates, my professor, they all supported me. So I would say if you want to do research in particular, you can choose Taiwan. And for mechanical engineering, I would suggest you can choose Mingchi because there are a lot of research facilities and the professors are highly qualified and uh, you can choose Mingchi. For, so thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think this is about our presentation for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I ask you to stay on a stage? Uh, so our, our one question for uh, our Indian students. Can you share with our fellow future Indian students what is the life like in Taipei? Did you enjoy it? It depends on person to person, you know. If you yes. are like into studies, more into studies, then it's, uh, if you are in Taipei, you are in Kaohsiung or anywhere in Taipei, uh, anywhere in Taiwan, Taiwan, it will be similar to you. But if you want to enjoy and party, then Taipei is the best place, you know. How, how, how would you, uh, can you elaborate a little bit? Uh, you can, <laughs> because for me, I am a kind of, you know, study and party is like, uh, you manage both. Yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> so you can find a lot of clubs. You can go to, uh, you know, all the places you want. Okay, so Taipei is convenient and traveling and traveling and everything is good. Shopping and clubbing and parties. Everything. So have you been hiking? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, so uh, how would you recommend uh, one favorite place in Taiwan? Particularly, if you come to Mingchi, you have a hiking spot just behind our college. So oh, so you okay. Can just come there and you can go. And you can see the skyline there, right? Yeah. yeah. Even for if you are stressed and you are like, you you know, you feel like going home or like that, you can just go to the mountain and see the entire Taipei from there. Wow, wow, sounds beautiful. We look forward to more Indian students joining you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, we have more university joining us, including Yishou University, National Formosa University, National Tsinghua Universities, and more to come. Uh, before that, we will have a very brief break of 10 minutes. Please stay tuned and come back after 10 minutes. Thank you all for coming all the way here.
I have, hope you have a safe trip back. Uh, please don't forget your lunch. Your Okay. <laughs>
五、四、三、二、一。Hello and welcome back to the latter session of today's program. The next five universe,、uh, the next four university in this session will share with us online about their programs and their university. The first university we have with us is Yishou University. Let's welcome them. Hi everyone, we are from Yishou University. My name is Hao Chen. You can call me Clement, and I'm from Office of International and Cross Strait Affairs. This、uh, Indian student, his name is Alphonse. Alphonse Imran Savior from India. Yes, he's from South India, especially, and I'm doing the PhD course in the Information Engineering in Yishou, Yishou University. Currently, I'm doing the.、Uh, currently, I'm the final year student.、Uh, almost、uh, we had then the the final proposals, so probably it's going to be、uh, yeah. going to be great success. Yes. So yes,、yeah. really, I'm glad for him. Okay, so we have very short, very brief time. We are going to start very soon. So today we will briefly introduce our university, and we introduce you the uh, for uh, what is、uh, what the. Application for 2024 semester will be, and then then the introduction to the、uh, scholarship. The second part will introduce you the college and the departments. The second one、uh, about Chinese language center. The third one will be exchange and dual degree program, and then to shortly uh, uh, introduce you our campus. And then we have two、uh, students here from India to share their life at ISU. So the first part. So ISU is located in the southern Taiwan, and you can see、uh, the icon of Yishou University, and the, the pointed at Kaohsiung. This is our county. This is the city overview of Kaohsiung City. This is our campus, the main campus of Yishou University, and we have another medical campus. And this is our founder, Mr. Yishou Lin. And now this is our president, Roger Chen. So Yishou University has been established for 31 years. So this year is the 30th,、uh, 31st year、yeah. in his birthday.、Yeah. So the honor, and today especially for、uh, information and techn-、uh, engineering session, we want to share with you that our honor of Yishou University is both、uh, engineering college R I. IET accredited. So, what is IET? Do you know what is IET?、Mm, not sure. You're not sure. But、um, it is、um, Institute of Engineering Education. Am I right? Yes, exactly. Institute、yeah. of Engineering Education is accredited by them. That is a great honor, and especially in today's session is about information in engineering. So, it's very especially to introduce you IET. And also, and also it is、uh, recommended by the Ministry of Education. Am I right? Ministry of Education. Wow.、Yes. So it is the、uh, most recommended to the all all the、mm-hmm. engineering students. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah.、Good. So our government is recommending too. Yeah.、That's、exactly.、Great. Yes. Exactly. So let's see uh the twenty twenty uh twenty uh twenty two for application. So this is our student guideline, admission guideline for international students for the twenty twenty four and also twenty twenty three. Spring and this is application application timetable. So the duration will be、uh, starting from the December of twenty seventh until the twenty eighth of July next year. So it's a long time. And also there's another session application for spring twenty twenty three. Okay. So please pay attention to the timetable. So application period for twenty twenty four semester that is December twenty seventh, uh, this year, just. Uh, one week or two weeks later, and then until next year,、uh, July twenty eighth. So scholarship, the student might be curious how to apply for Yishou scholarship. Actually, we do have an online application. So in this un- online application, you can directly、uh, see on the screenshot on the right hand side that is the Yishou scholarship for international students. You can、uh, tick, and then below, are you? Applying for Yishou scholarship in,、uh, for international students, you say yes, and then 
After choosing this, then the scholarship committee will begin censor your eligibility and the amount weight for those scholarships. Okay, so let's next step we are going to introduce you the college and the department. Do you know how many college and department we have? Yeah. Oh, so nine colleges we have. Yes. And also it is, uh, we have the medical campus and uh, everything, so our EDA groups. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You said. On the slide you can see that we have nine college. And especially today we are going to let you know, especially the English taught bachelor, master and the doctor degree. So if you are interested in English taught bachelor, and especially for today's session about information and engineering, so we do have intellect, intelligence systems and automation engineering for English taught bachelor. And the next one is English taught masters. So the master, we have two. One is the master of electrical engineering in railway technology. And this is the new master degree wow. starting from next year, 2024 semester. Wow. So you must pay attention to this. The second one is the International Master of Business Administration, IMBA. So I use the red one because it's the highlight. So please focus on it. And next page, I'm going to introduce you. This is the new brochure just come out today, newly produced. Wow. This is a brochure for the Master of Electrical Engineering in Railway Technology for English Toe. And if you're interested, we can give the student two year scholarship, uh, two year tuition wait means that you don't have to pay any tuition for these two years. Wow. How nice. do you think really. about it? It's very amazing, very amazing. Yeah. It's you amazing. know, this is a new course. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. The, but you know, the railway technology, this is the first time I'm, I'm looking for that, but really very curious. Mm -hmm. I just read out the, the fee structures and scholarship. Yeah. It's really good, really yeah. good. Exactly. The original tuition fee, how much is uh, Taiwan dollar is 75,000 NTD for one mm -hmm. semester. So uh, one year is nearly 150,000, is it? Mm -hmm. NTD. Yes. Yeah. So you can calculate how much rupees it needed. So two year tuition wave is completely waived. Yes. Wow. Very good. Okay. And then English top PhD, we do have Alphonse here from the Department of Information Engineering for PhD. Yes. And we do have other two English code PhD that is biotechnology and the chemical engineering. And the third one is the management. Okay. And I would like to invite Alphonse to share a little bit about his English code PhD in information engineering. Yes. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Clement. Really yes. good. So while I was in India, I was working as a assistant professor. That time, uh, our government of India recommended this Isho University. So I got the circular through our management where I worked as the assistant professor in India. So then I applied it. I applied the English art programs, which one is suitable for us. So moreover, that time we have a lot of programs, I mean the doctor program. So I belong to the computer science engineering. So I thought, okay, this is really good. So information engineering, then I go through it, uh, who are my guide, what are the specification, what are the uh, papers they publish, everything. I saw that what kind of advanced technology they are used, what kind of the server they are using in the laboratory, everything I check it, everything is really, really amazing. And also they use the supercomputer, you know, uh, they're using the tiny, tiny robot they are using. Mm -hmm. That thing is only uh, inspired me to use, I mean, uh, to choose this this course, particularly in the Isha University. Then um, after that, our OACA, the Office of our International Cross Affairs, helped me a lot for the scholarship. The timely, timely, they mailed me, mail, and also I applied it. You know, they really friendly, mannerly, they behave with me, and. Uh, um, you know, the um, Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Science and Technology Scholarship, these are the government scholarship. I got it really, um, they helped me a lot. They send it timely about what kind of the requirement you need to apply for this scholarship. The information properly they mentioned it. So I applied it, really the, uh, got grace 
um, and also all credit first goes to the God and the second credit goes to the OACA. <laughs> really, thank you, Clement. Yeah, so yeah. I got it. So now almost um, then after um, I'm using the still I'm using that the requirement and the criteria is every year they will update it. So we need to uh, follow that what kind of the notification they are giving that we need to follow with because every time they will update means the criteria like um, the percentage in the class wise percentage they will change it. So we need to do the same kind of updation. So that's very important. So paper publications and um, the conference that it's very important for this scholarship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. that is also eligibility in order to continue uh, to get the scholarship. Also, you need to update every year, every semester. That is very important. Yes. So you don't worry about that because because the professors help you large for the research, particularly because mm -hmm. my professor Dr. Cheng and my co-advisor, Dr. Shea, helped me a lot for the, every time they will review my papers. Yeah, so they will correct all the mistakes and also the submissions, everything they have helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. So with God, with God grace and with the help of my professors, I published two, uh, two SEI papers. So moreover, uh, that is the main qualification for my final defense. So the last semester, I uh, proposed my final proposal title also. Mm -hmm. So happily, I'm on the next semester, my final defense. The final defense means the main, the main doctoral program mm -hmm. presentation that is next semester. Mm -hmm. So they helped me a lot. I'm really thankful for the Asia University to the, mm -hmm. the great, great opportunity because you know the, um, the students uh, to get the doctoral program is very hard nowadays according to the financial, according to the economy wise, but the Asian University helped me a lot and our Taiwan government also helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity. I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Really. I feel very honored to hear of uh, the phrases from uh, our songs. Yes. And I would like to share with you one thing that our song is um, complete for completing for the Mr. E show. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow will be a competition. I hope that he will win. Yeah, you know, Mr. Isha. I yeah, guess. because you know, OACA always conduct the uh, the cultural events programs, mm -hmm. and those who are coming from other countries, yeah. they should not uh, fear. They should not hesitate. Yeah. So because they want to, um, they want to think about this is also our hometown. Mm -hmm. So that's what they motivate us. They are uh, for moreover the, um, the food culture, food event, and tomorrow we have the the Mr. and Mrs. Isho University, yeah. the culture ambassador programs tomorrow mm -hmm. in the Ida Royal Hotel. Yeah. They are organized and many of the officers also coming. Yeah. So and we are eagerly waiting for that to, to yeah. meet them. Good. Yeah, to honor them. Yes, good. So uh, welcome you to join us tomorrow. Okay, and let's move on. Mm -hmm. So this is our t teaching a facility for students who are interested in information engineering in this session. Okay, we do have a good uh, teaching facility for the student of the College of Science and Engineering. And also we do have one also a uh, medical campus. So we do have the teaching facility for the medical campus as well. Okay. And the student, uh, you are overseas student uh, whose uh, native language is not Mandarin. You, you could, you could, you can also go to yeah. our Chinese language center uh, to really learn Chinese. A, yeah, it is a free, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I place that too. It's free. Yeah. Mm. Ni hao. Ni hao. Yeah. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. De de de. Ni hao. Yes, and of course, uh, in the Chinese language center, we do have also the cultural event and cultural courses. So, for example, the poly calligraphy. Paper cutting, yes, the cultural event, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we will we wait for that too. Also, the la um, this semester, uh, we made a small part, mm -hmm. small part that we made it, and also amber la paintings. You know, mm -hmm. the cultural center, they organized everything. Mm -hmm. It's so nice, really. Yes, exactly. Okay, and uh, for a student, overseas student who came to Taiwan, you can also choose Thai I I S U as like a uh, island hopping island it's like you jump to taiwan and you jump to another place it's, you can do also exchange and your degree program mm -hmm. so isho university we have had already 500 plus sister schools in five continentals and uh, how many overseas students from 
uh, in each of the seats, more than 2,000 and uh, from over 49 countries. Yeah. Thank you so very we, much. Uh, yeah. We are running a little bit out of time. Uh, there is a question that has been kept asking online, and I would like to ask uh, Hao Chen, probably yes. the best person to answer this question. How can we apply for your Mandarin program, and how do you apply for the Mandarin scholarship? Okay, so if you are interested in learning Mandarin in in our university, you can apply for uh, any degree, for example, bachelor, master, and your uh, PhD program. And then, uh, Alphonse, can you share your experience how to take Chinese courses here? Yeah, so uh, during my first year, I got the chance to uh, to learn about the Chinese courses. It's completely free. Mm -hmm. So yeah, then next semester also, the same continuation courses we can apply. That is also free. Yeah, the, during my first year, that is a beginning level, uh, the beginning course, beginning mm -hmm. Chinese. Mm -hmm. Then next semester, they will offer the advanced level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this it is completely free. And if you want to pay, it means that it's a business, business level Chinese also okay. they, they will teach to us. Okay, so it means so. that you can enroll after you get accepted here and you can enroll online or go to our CLC center, yeah. right? Good, and also for the student want to apply for a uh, Mandarin scholarship, you can look, uh, you can go to the MOE scholarship website to see why you scholarship. You can go out there, I think it's an annually updated, you can look, uh, you, I think this year it's been, it, it's been over, so you can uh, use this year a uh, guideline as, an, as a reference to see what is the requirement and eligibility for applying for the MOE for you scholarship. And this is uh, the scholarship uh, uh, more initiated by MOE. So here we each uh, we do not provide a specific uh, e, uh, Mandarin scholarship for overseas students. We only provide the scholarship for the the general scholarship for the overseas student. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Hao Chen and our Indian students. We understand that Isho is well, very welcoming uh, Indian students. Uh, there's a large community there, and also providing so much fun and activities for the Indian students. And we don't have enough time to share with you the life in Kaohsiung, but if you have more further questions, please fill in the form and we will direct the questions to Isho University. Next, yeah. coming up, we have National Formosa University with us. Can, can we have National Formosa University online? Yes. Yes, let's welcome them. Okay, uh, does my file, everyone can see it? Yes, it's okay. visible. Okay, okay, hello everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce our university for you. Here we go. Uh, here is the map about Indian, Taiwan, and our school. As you, you can see that in the map, we are not very far. And we have four campus, three campus for teaching, one campus for student dormitory, and in this year, we also have new dormitory building. Excuse me, uh, is it okay for you to share full screen so that we can see it more clearly? Your PowerPoint can be extended to full screen. Yes. Okay, let me try. This will be wonderful. It's good? Um, we're still waiting for the picture. Yes, this is great. Full screen. Um, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, I will do it again. Here is our university, and it's my pleasure to introduce the introduce my university for you. We can see in this map Indian and Taiwan and our university in the map. We are in central of Taiwan, like the other school. And Sorry to interrupt, four. but your PowerPoint hasn't been updating. You uh, may have to exit, exit, and then, uh, so, yes, this one. 
Okay. Uh, you might need to switch off the notes. 备忘稿可能要关掉. Sure, sure, okay. We will play from our station. Okay, just give us a minute. Okay, sorry, sorry for that. Okay, stay with us. So, um, National Formosa University is ready. Now, uh, yes. yes, we have you full screen. You may start. Okay. Uh, here, here is our university and in the map, you can see uh, we are in central of Taiwan. And we have four campus, three campus for teaching, one campus for dormitory. And we have uh, we have uh, uh, we just celebrate our 41 years old birthday on last month. We have four college engineering major, management, electric computer engineering, and applied art science. We totally have 19 departments, over 18 master degree, three PhD program. And I want to introduce our space. Especially in our school, we have our own hangar and our maintenance center. That means our students can learn how to maintain, how to uh, how to use the airplane model from real one. And teacher can teach their knowledge, not only from book, also can teach students one by one in real model. And then students, they can use real model to learn how to practice their skill. If someone they are interested in this department, they can, they can study and then they can choose maintenance center's degree. And before they graduate, they can get some license. That means when this student graduate, they can get job immediately from good company, from good airplane company. So this one is our special department. And then uh, you can see we have several times late. If students who are interested to our professor's research and they don't know what kind of professor's lab have, has some, uh, has the other equipment or some tools, Maybe students can apply for our school and then come to visit this lab. And then if they are interested in this lab and professor's research, they can choose this professor to be their teacher. And we also have a small workshop. Students can use this workshop to practice less, their skill. And maybe they can uh, change their idea with Taiwanese students and do their project together. Now I want to introduce our uh, how to apply for our school and scholarship. We have two application time in November and May, and our school also offers some scholarship. If you are, uh, if students are interested about our scholarship, maybe you can email us. We can give you more information. And we also have some international event because in our university, 
we have the other countries, international students, and our school always offer some special international event for these international students. Like this picture, this event just had um, last month. It's very special and big event in India. And in the last, here is our office contact information. If anyone want to know more, if, uh, more detailed information, please email us. And later I will introduce our school, uh, our student, she will introduce and share her experience in NFU. Thank you. So hello everyone. I'm Aishwarya. So I, this is my fourth year in National Pharmacy University. So basically I entered as an intern and continued my master's and now I'm in PhD second year. So I consider it as a home because here I, they, there is a lot of benefits that is offered to international students, especially when it comes to scholarships. There are different financial supports like the tuition fee waiver, the living expenses, the laboratory expenses, etc. Then there is industry collaborations. Whenever we approach to a degree, we ensure to understand what industry needs so that our research can be capable to manage both of it. So I find NFU has a lot of industry collaboration projects in which we can be part of it. So it can directly have you jobs on site or internship opportunities or even understand more of what exactly the ongoing works are in Taiwan. So there is advanced research opportunities. For example, if we want to work something out of what is happening in the laboratories, the professors and the international office is always open to help us out. So this helps us in managing both advanced researches and our innovative research into the field of education. So as I belong to India, the southern part of India, I would like to share a few experiences, the different festivals or the camps that the NFU organized in order to make us feel home. Because we all know that COVID actually made a huge separation between like two years, many students were not able to go back to home. So we had several organized plans from shrimping experience where we visited a shrimp farm in order to enjoy and we also had good time together with several different country students. And then there was Diwali event. We have the Diwali event every year. So every year it is considered as a very mega event that is organized for international students on behalf of organizing committee from OIA, Office of International Affairs at NFU. So we were also invited for the Diwali event organized by government last year. So we enjoy the night markets that is quite popular in Taiwan, if many people who don't know about it. So we do had flying experience when I was an intern and this was my internship experience when I actually had to build a UAV or an, uh, a boat that could fly and immerse in the water. And this is the Mehendi experience picture which recently happened a few weeks ago and the amazing food, which was completely a different design from the Indian. So we enjoy quite a few delicacies from Taiwan as well. So as uh, the has already explained about the application process, all we need to do is wait for the deadline, fill in the applications, wait for the result, and find the professor of your choice so that the research comes hand in hand. But finding a professor may be done before arrival or after arrival. So then you arrive at your desired NFU. So the reason many people ask me is why do you choose Taiwan? Taiwan has a lot of beautiful surroundings like mountains, scenic beaches and tropical forests, which is one of my favorite go-to place when I need to enjoy the surroundings. It's a safe country as we all know, it is completely safe and 24 hours we can travel anywhere we desire to. And Taiwanese people are quite a lot friendlier than we think. 
For example, I would like to share an experience when I was missed out when I was new to Taiwan and a person who had three kids with her, she actually guided us back home even it was difficult for her. So you can understand how far they can come in order to help you. So it has different foods, so which makes it a good, delicious, incredible cuisine. So you're going to enjoy the different taste of authentic dishes in Taiwan. So this is the contact information of Office of International Affairs, NFU, and we are open to questions. Okay. Uh, uh, hi, um, I personally have one question that I think our audience would love to have our Indian students share with us. Um, I understand that National Formosa University emphasize a lot hands-on experience. Can our students uh, maybe share with us some experience you have with uh, your um, lab or your professor on the research projects? Definitely. So uh, I was a part of master degree program when I initially entered Taiwan as a full time course. So during that time, my research interest was quite different from what I was entered into. So I basically belong to electro optics engineering for my PhD, but I am more interested in electrical engineering where I work on artificial intelligence. So my laboratory designed a space for my research. So this helped me a lot more extended opportunity to understand and analyze. In case this was happened to be in any other department, many departments did not even provide the PhD uh, course. So this professors and the supervisors made me feel comfortable at the lab with the required equipments and the accessory at Ed Wilmore and the 24 hours that was open. For example, if I had to work in the night time, I can go directly to my lab to work. And if I'm not interested in a day, I can still take off and work in the time I wish to. So this made a lot of difference when it compared to my home country and the present place I am in. So this can give you a lot of hands on training so you can extend your research, I believe. Thank you very much for sharing with us your uh, experience sounds like uh, e sounds like uh, National Formosa University and the professors really extend their uh, help and also extend their hospitality towards our students. We Absolutely. know that Taiwan, southern part of Taiwan, is known for its passion, passionate people, and also the hospitality. Next up, we have one more university in, from uh, Kaohsiung, National San Yat-san University, right next to the beach. So can we have National San Yat-san University online with us? Yes, uh, this is Katie from the Office of International Affairs at National San Yat-san University. So for our session, I'll share uh, my slides. OK. Uh, can everybody see my screen? Is it full screen? Okay, thank you. So in our session, I will firstly introduce uh, general admission information to our university. And after my part, uh, our professors from the Department of Mechanical and Mechanical, Electromechanical Engineering and the Department of Photonics will introduce more details. So let's start with my part first. So National Sun Yat-sen University, uh, where also known as NSYSU, is a public university located in Kaohsiung, the largest city in southern Taiwan. As you, uh, as you can see from the photo, our university is embraced by ocean and mountains, which creates a very beautiful campus environment. And here at NSYSU, we have seven colleges. So currently, there are around 9,700 students at NSYSU, and 52 of them are from India. As a highly research-intensive university, our graduate students constitute half of the student population. Our university's research excellence is recognized by the renowned QS World University Rankings. In the latest ranking of the 2022 World Universities, we are ranked among the top 500 universities in the world. Also, in the 2020, 
2021 QS World University rankings by subjects. We have 17 subjects recognized in the ranking list and including engineering, chemistry, business and management, and so on. In addition, according to the essential science indicators, NSYSU has scientific papers ranking in the top 1% by, by citations for nine disciplines, including engineering, chemistry, and so on. So next, let's have a quick overview of the programs offered by each of our colleges. In the College of uh, Science, we offer the programs in chemistry, physics, and so on. While in the College of Engineering, we offer programs in mechanical and ele electromechanical engineering, photonics, and so on. Later on, our professors from, the two, from these two fields will also introduce more details about their programs. In addition to the two colleges, our College of Marine Sciences, Management, Liberal Arts, Social Sciences, and Xiwan College also offer many programs with high quality education and receive great recognition among industries in Taiwan and around the world. At NSYSU, we partnered with uh, 271 sister universities in 43 countries to offer our students more opportunities of international exchange and cooperation. While the language, official language in Taiwan is Mandarin, at NSYSU, we, uh, most graduate programs offer English courses. We also aim at developing uh, our university into an English university by 2030. So there will be more and more programs offering English courses. Next, I will introduce some information about the scholarships. At NSYSU, we offer scholarships to our international degree students. Uh, for the students who are granted with uh, our scholarships, master students get a tuition waiver for a maximum of two years, and uh, doctoral students also get a tuition waiver with a monthly stipend of Taiwanese dollar 50,000 plus dormitory fee waiver. In addition to NSYSU scholarships, you can also try to apply for the Taiwan scholarships offered by our ministries. I will recommend you the MOE scholarships, which offer pretty good monthly stipends and partial tuition fee waiver. For more detailed information, please check with your closest Taiwan embassies or representative offices. Next, it's about expenses. For housing, we guarantee on-campus dormitories accommodation for all international students uh, who can apply for twin rooms or quad rooms on campus. The dorm fee for twin rooms is around Taiwanese dollar seventeen thousand per semester, and for quad room is around eight thousand five hundred per semester. So here at NSYSU, in addition to immersing yourself academically, you can also take water sports courses like yakiting, windsurfing, and diving, and also free Chinese language courses for four hours per week. Besides, you also have many opportunities to join extracurricular cultural activities. This April, we supported our Indian students to hold a great event of Ugadi celebration. For students' future career, as Taiwan government is loosening regulations for international professionals to work in Taiwan, our graduates also have the opportunities to stay and work in Taiwan after they graduate. So, if you are interested in pursuing your degree with us, here's the application timeline. We accept applications twice a year for fall and spring semesters. For fall semester admission, applications start from mid-January to mid-March, while for spring semester, the applications start from August to September. Okay, so I have completed the introduction for the general admission information. Thank you for having me. So, if you have any questions, feel free to send me emails. Next, let's welcome our professor, uh, Professor Chen, Chen, sorry, Professor Chen from the Department of Mechanical and Electrical Mechanical Engineering to introduce more information. So the time is yours, <coughs> Professor Chen. Okay. Um, let me. Sorry. Uh, okay. Let me share my. Uh, 
Okay, uh, my name is Chi Chen Chen. Uh, I'm glad to be here to introduce the Department of Mechanical and Electromechanical Engineering in National Science University. Um, professor, are you speaking? We cannot hear you. Professor, are you still with us? Uh, professor Zhen, uh, are you with us? We can see your screen, but we cannot hear from you. Uh, sorry, this is professor, Katie. Professor, are you speaking? We cannot hear you. Uh, may we invite our professors professor, from the Department of Botanics? Okay, sure. Let's have our next professor to introduce to us their department. Uh, professor Zhen, uh, are you with us? We can see your... Hello? Can you see my... Yes, Professor Lee, we can hear you and we can see your screen. Yeah, can you hear my voice? Yes, yes, we, I'll leave the floor to you. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks. Uh, uh, this is Hyunsuk Lee from Department of Botanic. Let me introduce my department first. Um, my department, uh, you can see the slide, right? It's working fine. Is that working fine? Yes, it's working fine. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So our department started the name with uh, the Institute of Electro-Optical Engineering first in 1993. And we established PhD program in 1998. And uh, in the middle of that, we changed the, the name of the department to Department of Photonics. Currently, we are using this name as a department name. Uh, our students are like more than 300 right now in the department. The 40% of the students are uh, the, um, the master students and the PhD students right now. So the, the curriculum you are providing, especially for grad programs, uh, we have a lot of uh, different kind of courses relating to the photonics, uh, semiconductors and optics or all of that. The important thing is our compulsory courses are provided in English, all of those. So uh, if, if the international student come here, uh, you don't have any problem to take a courses. And in, in, in addition to those, we are providing a lot of elective, uh, elective courses uh, relating uh, electric cor uh, elective courses and uh, a special course uh, based on photonics uh, field. Uh, so this is gonna be a, a great chance to learn what is a photonics in the department. And especially uh, our department research field is classified into uh, three fields. The first one is photonic materials and components. Uh, that include me. And second one is displays and alternative energy. And some of the professor are working for optical communication and information. So let's talk about a little bit more on the research part. Uh, in our department, there are uh, uh, eight full professors the, currently, Professor Mei Ying Chang is a, a chair professor, and all, all eight full professors are very uh, passionate on, on implementing uh, some research work. For example, they are doing work for the uh, OLED, OPV, uh, silicon photonics, semiconductor processing, and liquid crystal physics. And some of uh, some of the professors are working for chemistry relating to the fuel cell. And um, some of our, our working project is going to be uh, uh, relating to the optics. And we have uh, three associate professor in the department and uh, three assistant professor, including me. 
uh, we also are very work hard for the research topic. Uh, our research topic includes uh, photonic crystal, metamaterials, nonlinear optics, silicon photonics. Uh, in case of me, I'm really uh, interested in and solar energy conversion application based on thin film or nanostructure things. So our all research are well funded from the government office or the industry. So uh, all the topics are related to our uh, professor's uh, research topic. Uh, for example, like silicon photonics or smart window, uh, next generation display or three, five semiconductor materials, uh, sort of that. And also our department has a very good relationship with industry in Taiwan. So every year we have uh, lots of company visit and invite some seminar from the company and we are establishing some uh, discussion for a future collaboration. And from this kind of research or, or, or technical uh, technology development, uh, we got uh, a lot of achievement. Uh, some of the professor uh, uh, achieved some uh, awards and uh, be it became some um, winner in the competitions, like when, uh, as, as you see in the photos. And based on our research, we got, uh, we are successful in public making a publication to the good journal, like Nature Materials, Communication, Advanced Materials, all of that. And this is slide for my uh, brief introduction of my research field. I'm what I like I said before. I'm very interested in, in making a nanostructures, and I we are uh, characterizing all the nanostructure thin film by various techniques like material optical uh, electrochemical method, and uh, we are focusing on the making some solar energy conversion applications, uh, such as solar cell and photocatalytic systems. So this is the end of my presentation. Um, uh, thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, uh, please ask me. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. I think we have Professor Chen back with us. Professor Chen, can you hear me? Can yes, you hear us? I can. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we would like to have your presentation with. Uh, uh, are you? Can you share with yes. us your uh, screen? I'm okay. I'm ready. Sorry about the. Uh, let me. No problem. Uh, or if you like, we can operate the PowerPoint for you, and you all, all you need to do is just uh, speak uh, for us. Can you see the slides? Yes, we can see the slides. You may make okay, a full great. screen. So, okay, so, the floor is all yours. So I can start, right? Yes, please do. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Chi Chen Chen. Um, I'm with the Department of Mechanical and Electromechanical Engineering in National Shenzhen University. Uh, as you know, uh, our campus is by the beach, so we have a, a very unique uh, scenery around us. And through a city metro subway system, it is easy for us to reach major transportation facilities in the city, such as uh, train station, high speed rail station, and the airport. Um, if uh, you join our, uh, to our university, you will be very lucky to get along with monkeys. Uh, department of Mechanical and Electromechanical Engineering is the second largest department in the university. We offer bachelor, master, and the PhD programs. Uh, this department was established in 1982, and then we have our own master program and the PhD program. About 20 years ago, we changed our department title from mechanical engineering to the mechanical and electromechanical engineering. The research focus uh, in our department consists of production automation, energy saving development, and the management, and the microelectromechanical systems. Um, right now, there are about uh, 30 faculty members in the department. In each year, we accept more than 100 undergraduate students and 100 master students, and about 5 to 10 PhD students. 
Um, most of our faculty members got their PhDs from USA, and some of them uh, got their PhD from Japan, United K Kingdom, and uh, universities in Taiwan. We have five research groups, thermal fluid, solid mechanics, control, design and manufacturing, macro nano systems. Each research group, there are four to six faculty members. So here are the faculty member, the list for faculty members in each group. And recently we got a huge funding from the government to build uh, an intelligent manufacturing workshop center. So hope, hopefully this workshop center will be finished by the end of this year. Uh, our department got the international accreditation through IET, so that the degree you got from the university or the course you take from the uh, department will be fully recognized by most other countries in the world. Uh, requirement for master degree include two semester seminar and uh, nine courses and the master thesis. For PhD degree, uh, also, you need to finish two semester seminar and, and the six courses, uh, two paper, two journal paper publications, and the PhD dissertation. So there are many courses uh, taught in English offered by the department, so it should not be uh, a difficulty for international students to get uh, course credit in the department. So through our uh, department, you will be able to connect to world-renowned uh, high-tech companies. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Professor Chen. It seems like studying engineering in National uh, Sun Yat-sen University seems like a great future. Uh, we have one question online for Professor Lee. Professor Lee, um, what are some prospects um, for students graduating from your college or photonics? What are some prospects for their future? Can you share with us, please? Thank you. You mean the after graduations or? I don't know, for your student, um, where do they go head on to after graduation? Yeah, in case of uh, our group, we are aiming for uh, uh, doing some research, scientific research. So uh, uh, our goal is like make some uh, publications or something like that. Uh, but uh, our philosophy is like, um, we can save the world to solve the problem uh, relating to the uh, energy demands or environmental issue, just by yeah by using our photocatalyst or by our solar cell. I see. So, um, so what are some uh, apart from research? I understand that uh, your college emphasizes a lot on research. How about some companies that your student offer? Uh, they are being offered jobs to. In, uh, in case of our department, most of students are go, uh, trying to go for the semiconductor industry, like TSMC or some other uh, materials company in Taiwan. Uh, you know, the uh, Taiwan is a very famous in semiconductor industry, especially. So, uh, I guess uh, if uh, if you uh, if you uh, Indian students come here, if you are successful and the uh, uh, finishing all the programs here, maybe you, get, you will get a great chance to get into the semiconductor industry and other engineering industry. Professor, thank you uh, for sharing with us. Um, thank you, uh, Office of International Affairs and Professor Zhen. Next up, we have National Tsinghua University, also our home university of Taiwan Education Center in India. Um, can we have uh, National Tsinghua University online, please? Hi, everyone. Hi, we well, leave the floor. Okay, all yours. Okay, hi, everyone. Uh, I am Becky from National Tsinghua University, and I want to share some information about Tsinghua. I hope you'll love it after my talk. The 
outline of today's presentation is general introduction and application process and scholarship and fees. And for the last part, there will be a special guest, Snikta, a graduate student from College of Engineering, and she will be here to share her school life experiences with us. General introduction. As you can see in the map, Taiwan is a small country in Asia and Tsinghua is located in Xinzhou, the yellow circle. Xinzhou is a very beautiful city in the northern part of Taiwan. And it only takes one hour to reach Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan. Xinzhou is known to be the heart of technology of Taiwan. As you can see in the purple color, is our campus. Next to our campus, the brown color is Xinzhou Science Park. There are more than 400 technology companies in the Science Park. It accounted for 10% of Taiwan's GDP. Besides those, in the blue color, there are many national laboratories such as National Synchrotron Radiation Center, NSRC, National Space Organization, NSPO, National Nano Device Laboratories, NDL, and Industrial Technology Research Institute, ITRI, they are all located very close to Tsinghua University. Besides those research institutes outside our campus, there are 23 research centers built inside our school. I will just name a few. Brain Research Center, they've been doing research on fly brain neurogenomics. And Tsinghua Open Point Nuclear Reactor, they are working on boron neutron capture therapy. And also, Tsinghua Lab Innovative Incubation Center. This is very new, and it will be collaborated with the Xinzhou Science Park. About our history, National Tsinghua University was first established in Beijing, China in 1911 as Tsinghua Academy and is re-established in Xinzhou, Taiwan in 1956. Over the years, Tsinghua has developed into a leading research-oriented university, offering the diverse programs. In World University Rankings for 2021, Tsinghua ranked 168 which is number 33 in Asia. It's number two in Taiwan. Tsinghua is number two, uni number one university in Taiwan in terms of US patent granted for the past seven years. Tsinghua also cooperate with universities and research institutes all around the world. We have more than 300 sister universities our students have many opportunities to go to join exchange programs, pursuing double degree program or to take on a research exchange all throughout the world. For example, in Asia, collaborate with Kyoto University, Seoul National University, in Europe, University of Oslo, University of Tübingen, and in North America, McGill University, University of California, Berkeley. So they are all very good university all around the world. With such advantage of locations and schools reputation, our students are usually have several job offers upon graduation. Okay, so next, let me tell you about study pass and application information. NTHU currently houses 12 colleges. We strongly encourage students to get second specialty and we are the only leading research-oriented university in Taiwan, housing College of Education and College of Arts. We wish you can not only gain knowledge from your major department, but also broaden your horizon in different fields. If you would love to apply for the discipline cluster we introduced today, you may look into our engineering college and electrical engineering and computer science college. We open spring and fall programs for international students from bachelor degree, master degree to PhD. Please check on our website to see specific requirements of each department. 
Link will be shown at the last page of this report. Uh, when it comes to studying abroad, one of the most important things is language. You may take a look at the screenshot of our website. We have listed all the available programs for you, so that you are able to know whether programs have enough English courses or not. Well, most of our programs have courses taught in English, so I think it won't cause a huge language gap for you to study here. And here is a timetable of application for 2022 fall semester. Yellow is for undergraduate, and, uh, and, and the green one is for graduates. They are all open for applying now. You may find more information on our website about the whole application process. We suggest you to first review the guideline and second apply through, apply through our online application system as early as possible. As for the 2022 spring semester, I'm sorry that the application time has passed. For the 2023, we'll open application in maybe next summer. Please check on our website for the latest information. As for the third part, scholarship and fees. We offer numerous scholarships here, and here is the list of the available one for you. The most common one is the scholarship. It includes payments per month plus to use, payments per month plus to issue and credit fee rate. However, please notice, uh, please be aware that the scholarship usually have two types, A and B. Only type A can make get the payments. For the first time to apply, you may apply through our online application system. And after you enroll, you have to renew your scholarship annually. There will be a strict procedure to decide whether you may be awarded or not. For more regulation, you can see the QR code there and just scan it. You can, uh, you can find out more information about it. As for the fee in my course in Tsinghua, please see this form. Every semester, you have to pay first tuition fee and credit fee, second textbook, and third drone fee. The, the cost will differ from each department. And here is the cost for reference. Except for the fee above, the estimated living expense is about 22,000 in rupees per month. Let me remind you that our NTHU International Student Scholarship we mentioned on the last page for doctoral students are totally sufficient to support your living here. Okay, then this is our last part. Let's talk about how is the life will be in Tsinghua. Uh, we are striving to global guide our campus. Currently, about 10% of the student body are comprised of international students. And now, we have about 188 Indian international degree students in our school. And a large part of uh, Indian students are studying in the College of Engineering or, or the College of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. In the years to come, we expect to have more and more students joining us from all around the world. And we make, to make sure you are well, when we only welcome. The, we have an international students association, which is called FSA. In each season, they will hold different events for international students to participate. Like, for example, uh, international festival, welcome party, or Christmas party. You may e even experience traditional Dragon Ball racing here. Except for FSA, there are still diverse clubs you may join according to your interests. You can experience new things and make new friends from different countries. Also, there are numerous academic events held by school or department or clubs. Uh, should you have any questions, just please scan the QR code to visit our website or email the following contacts. And we just want to say, National Tsinghua University, uh, just join National Tsinghua U University if you can start studying in Taiwan. And I believe that you will make your life more colorful here. At the end, we invite a student, our special guest from College of Engineering, she will share her experience in Tsinghua with you. Yay! Hey, welcome! Hello, welcome. Okay.
<laughs> Hello everyone, I am Snigta and I'm currently a fourth year PhD student in the uh, Department of Biomedical Engineering here in NDHU. So uh, first, uh, uh, first of all, I would really like to thank NDHU for offering me the opportunity to meet uh, people from so many different countries and get to know their culture. It's really a once in a lifetime opportunity and other than that, since I am a PhD student here, so uh, I have experienced it myself, the world-class research facilities which NTHU offers. And um, also there are many sophisticated instruments which you get to use and uh, they are not quite easily available for the students to use in India. But I know here in NTHU, once you obtain the license for those kind of instruments, you can easily use that for your research. Other than that, um, during your PhD, you will also get a chance to like attend some international conferences. So for those conferences are, you, uh, are usually funded by NTHU or your professors, and that is a very good time for you to meet and build up your academic connections. And uh, I'm guessing most of the students will come here for, the, for their master's or PhD. So you would, uh, I would really ask you guys to pay some attention to the courses you choose because um, some of the courses you will choose from your department, but the others you still have a chance to choose from other, any department you like. The course selection system here is quite flexible. So uh, get, uh, think about the courses you need to take and choose wisely because uh, the courses you choose will really like decide about your future research topic. Once you will learn something from the course and according to that, you can decide your interest and decide the topic for your, uh, for your thesis. And other than that, uh, talking about the campus life here, um, NTSU's campus is actually very big and green and also beautiful, definitely. And uh, it is, life is very convenient inside the campus. So we have like lots of, uh, lots of travel options, like you have the regular buses and also like the uh, bikes and even electric scooters now, which you can use easily to travel around the campus. And um, also about uh, if you might know, like uh, the library in NTHU is quite big and it's one of the biggest in Asia. And uh, once you come here, please visit the library. It's uh, you will get you will get to see how fancy it is and it offers a lot of options for you to get have access to some books or even some uh, like paid softwares. And also, um, other than that, if uh, if you are coming to Taiwan, one of the uh, one of the suggestion which I would like to offer is that please keep an open mind because I know once you arrive in Taiwan, you will you might feel everything is so different here, like the especially the food. So, but uh, once you come here. Uh, just take some time, relax, and interact with the local students. Everyone is very warm and friendly here. Interact with them, go out and have some, uh, like, go out and go to the night markets to try some food, and you will, you will start to enjoy your stay here. Another, another suggestion would be if, um, you, if you're after you, after you arrive in Taiwan, it's better, uh, it's better if you take up the Chinese course, which is offered by NTHU for free in the first semester. And uh, inside the campus, uh, you can, you can survive with your English skills. But once you go out to live your regular life, like to buy some groceries or to, uh, or to order something in the restaurant, it's better like if you know some basic uh, level of the Chinese language. So I would really, really uh, suggest that please take up the course uh, in your first semester so that life will be easier for you. So finally, I would like to wish you good luck and hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you very much. Uh, as a alumni of National Tsinghua University, I cannot emphasize how much I love the courses in Tsinghua University and how much uh, I have benefited from the courses and programs. We have two questions for Office of Glo Global Affairs. The first question is, if a scholarship receiving PhD student has gone on to their fifth year of study, what are some options for their financial uh, support? And the second question is, uh, a student applying for the programs um, has passed out from, a, from an English uh, medium uh, university in BA. They will have to provide some kind of English proficiency um, uh, proof. Um, is 
online duolingo english test uh, result uh, accepted uh, what are some of the test results that you uh, accept in application for proficiency? So for the scholarship, now it's extended to the fifth year. So it's available to apply again in your fifth year. It's available now. And as for the second question of... Um, an MBA English certificate. Oh, the, the proof of English? Yes. Proficiency? Yes. Proficiency of English? Yes. Uh, there would be several kinds of uh, requirement by different department. So uh, you could either have TOEFL, IELTS, and different other um, tests that you can provide. If you have further questions, uh, you might be able to reach to the department for their, uh, for their answer. But right. we will take uh, all your, um, all your document that you provide to the department. And you can also provide the statement that, uh, that states that uh, your courses or your program is taught fully in English. And we also we will also take that as a proof of English proficiency. Okay, thank you very much. So if um, they have gone on to um, an Indian medium uh, university and uh, received degree, it would be possible to, as a proof for their English proficiency. However, if it's an online app or an online program, uh, if it's not uh, recognized by the university or the international world, uh, say du du duolingo, uh, maybe that may that's not accepted by the department. Am I right? Yeah, it uh, it would be up to the department because they are the reviewing com committees. I see. So, I see. Uh, yeah. Right. I am. Um, yes. If you want to study in Taiwan and in one of the top 200 university in the world, National Tsinghua University is your best choice as an Indian student to go to. Our next session will start briefly uh, in about 10 minutes. However, please be noted that we will change our sites. Our link will change to another place on YouTube. You may find our uh, Facebook page and click on the link, or if you have uh, applied for this program, you will receive a special link for the next session. And also, we have a QR code up here that you can scan and join us in our next session, where we, where we have uh, Asia University, Tamgang University, Chang'an University, and a lot of other management and social science study university with us. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next session.